Hello, 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 everybody. Yes, hardcore mode indeed, Mecco, and hello to Phoenix as well. Um, I actually, I have a bone to pick with you, Phoenix. I want to get into that in a second. <laughs> Let's jump onto the live scene here. We got our uh, Kaizen HC, Kaizen hardcore character going on. Um, hello, 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 Star Eclipsed. Um, Star Eclipsed. I hope you call your name wrong. I don't know why. Um, so we're gonna start this. Put this on here, and hardcore mode. Awesome. Excited to do this. It's been a while. Actually, I'm going to need to like, familiarize myself uh, with the world a little bit. John Quero, hello. Kokoma and hits Haley Craft, better known as Haley. Um, <laughs> hello, hello. Nice to see you all here, and uh, thank you all for coming back again. So, yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Felix, have a have a little bone to pick with you. <laughs> you should be scared. I uh, I think I woke up three times in the night last night to pee. <laughs> like, not even joking. So. I am. You're entirely at fault for this, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> the uh, the abuse of the hydrate, not good. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I was literally like there, at like <laughs> there we go. We're off already with hydrates. Here we go. I was there at like three in the morning, getting up to go for a pee, and I was like, "Damn, Phoenix, had your first death by tree yesterday. Don't emulate you. I will try not to." Trees are definitely the scariest uh, thing in Valheim. Way worse than any boss or any like challenge or whatever. It's all about the trees. Never stop hydrating indeed, yeah. I guess it's like, I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think, I wonder when most streamers stream. Do they stream when they're like, like for them? Is it close to going to bed? Is it early morning? I wonder, I wonder. Okay, so I think like, we were working on the base a bit, and it's coming along. I wonder if it's worth doing the Elder Boss fight today. That's what I was kind of thinking. Um, we could try and gear up for that. Now, I don't think we found it yet, right? Oh, we did. Blimey, look how far away he is. That's a trek. Okay. Well, well, well. I can check how much like copper and stuff we've got. Maybe we can make a good boat and go along. Um, thank you, Zeleg. Thank you for coming along to the stream from YouTube. I appreciate that. Um, use your hydrates to remind yourself. That's a good idea. Yeah, stream can get involved in this. Whatever I hydrate, you guys can hydrate too. All right, we've got a few nails. So what, to make the boat, we need 18 bronze nails. Oh my goodness. So we might have to go and do a bit of mining to start off today. Uh, this storage is painfully bad at the moment as well. All right, what, what's actually left in terms of doing the house? I think... If we wait for this house to be built to do the storage, like, it's going to be a long, long time, right? <laughs> Before we get the storage happening. So I actually might start today's stream off with a bit of a storage room. It's going to be a chill stream anyway, because I'm a bit uh, more sleepy tonight, because I was up all night peeing. <laughs> Phoenix. Um, so it's no, you're good. You're good. It's fine. That's what they're there for. You can use them. I just thought it was funny more than anything. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's make a storage area. I like I've done my base on Ravenheim so much nicer than this and now I come here and I'm like yeah this isn't this isn't good um, so the question is how I want to do this so if this is my house this is where everything's going on we could time to take this down make storage over here maybe next to the carrot farm let's look at doing that so oh but I bet you we don't have any wood on us hmm dang that's a pain that is a bit of a pain yeah because because of building this house I'll have a little check through my uh, drawers here, my chests. See what we do have, but I'm I'm betting we don't have much wood. We've got some core wood, but not like normal wood for building purposes. See, if we kill the Elder as well, it would... we got six. Hmm. Yeah, if we kill the Elder, we can also get the extra wood cutting effects, so... You know, ability... He's back. Felix is back. <laughs> it's happening again already. Oh, and we got an E. Actually, the E one is super useful, uh, in particular in, in hardcore mode, <laughs> so that's good. Um, some relay times sounds nice after almost three hours. You've done three hours of terraforming, my goodness, that's a lot. Um, Andy Hanna, hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the channel and to today's stream. Uh, we're going to get some wood chopped down here. And I'm going to have a little thing. Oh, look at that. There's a pile of wood up there waiting for us. I guess this is where I was wood cutting before. See, so, yeah, I forget so much because it's been a little while. Yeah, so I have a little thing. I, I think fighting the Elder would be good, but it's going to be a bit of a 
Trek getting over to him and stuff. Like, I'm in two minds in this game. Like, because like, it's hardcore mode, so when I die, that's it. Obviously. Um, so, I like, part of me wants to play quite conservative because of that. Uh, but another part of me wants to, you know, ch test myself a bit. Go out and explore, do the bosses in, like, a timely fashion. So, I think doing the Elder today isn't a terrible way to go. Um, but what we're going to need for sure is some materials um, to make up a portal. Well, two portals, right? One at our base and one where the Elder is. And we're also going to need the bronze to make up the carve. So we're actually going to be a long way off. Um, like a good few hours off fighting him. So I, I would I would have thought, let's see how long I progress. Or how long it takes me to progress, I should say. And I guess it largely depends on you know how lucky we get and that sort of thing. But we shall see. Alright, we've got a bit of wood now. I was only really doing this for arrows for the adventure, so I'll just take this with me. Terraforming around your house to get some defense going. Good idea, yes. Yeah, I think when I make my base on Valheim, so like, uh, sorry, on Ravenheim, so like what we're doing over there, we got to start a town, but then we're also going to be um, making bases far away from that in the future, um, once we've progressed a bit more and stuff, but it's like, we're waiting to do that. And then, because if we go like far away from each other, we can do some more terraforming and stuff, which we all want to do for our bases. So yeah, I've got um, a few ideas of what I want to do for that. I've got some huge, huge plans for Ravenheim. I'm hoping that this particular series is going to last like quite a long time. Um, because there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Got some, some mega base plans going on. And it'll be fun because we can do a lot of that stuff together on stream as well. Um, you know. Okay, so I think I was, I was farming, I was getting boars. Did I have... Is there anything in here at all? I think we're literally... No, we're done. Okay, I'll check around here for any sort of ore. But we might literally need to be starting again from scratch here. See, this is the problem with not having organized storage. And then forgetting <laughs> where everything was. Um, yeah, literally, that's it. We've got those bronze nails, and that is our lot. Alright, we're going to have to go into Black Forest then. We have to go and get a load of this stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any certain cores either. Unless they're in here. Let's go have a look. Um, so it could be in here somewhere. If not, we need to find a burial chamber as well. Man, what have I been doing in this game? My goodness. I've progressed a lot quicker in Ravenheim. It's, it's that fear of dying that really slowed me down. You know what it is as well? Like when you're making content, it's even worse. Because you're like, you really don't want to die too soon. Because it's just like embarrassing. You know? <laughs> so you got to like try and balance that out. And be like, no, I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll make sure I live for at least a little bit. Alright, let's keep a load of wood in here, I guess. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just trying to find places for all this stuff. Like, Grey Dwarf Eyes everywhere. Uh, that can go in there. That can go in there. And I guess the rest can stay on us for now. We'll get rid of it. Oh, we have an Ancient Seed. We're going to need two more of those. Okay. Uh, what is Ravenheim, says Amelia? So... Ravenheim is a server with myself and other Valheim content creators. This is not it, by the way. Um, this is my hardcore series, just just to be clear. Uh, but I was doing Ravenheim last night, and there's a new Ravenheim video on my channel as well right now that just went up. Do I not even make a bronze pick yet? I'm so confused. Wait, maybe... Where's the cart? Did I leave some good stuff in the cart, maybe? Is that a thing? There it is, it's up there. Let's check that out. There you go. There's the ravens right there. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my god, look at this. We'd been mining for nothing. Right, so let's bring that back down. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty good. That's a good start to uh, to the evening. Take that. IG Tex Viper, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. Yes, this is, yeah, basically a collaboration. There's, uh, like myself, I say, there's like, there's about six of us in total, content creators on Ravenheim. Um... All very good content creators, and uh, you know it's great to work with them and, and what we've been doing. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a great series so far. Right. Well, what I want to do then is get all of this stuff into the ovens, right? Um, so that's the wrong side. This is going here. You can see the other Ravenheim uh, on his YouTube. Yes, I do have Ravenheim content on my YouTube and the other stuff. Uh, thank you for the eat. Um, I'll eat that up there. And uh, let's get some of this made up into some bronze as well. 
All right, well, that's definitely a good thing. Um, you know what we could do then? Is whilst all that's happening, we'll, we'll start to do our storage as well. Let's make a bit of a space here. And let's clear a bit of land. So I think one, two, three. Probably a three by three is going to do it, actually. This is just rough because it's I'm just using the hoe. But I think that sort of space would do it. Uh, oh, I've got two hydrates. If I get them close together like that, I'm just going to take a double sip whilst I'm doing it. You guys just have to trust me. Um, oh, I need a workbench. Okay. Oh, well, I need to make one. Um, yeah, just because, you know, it's easier. <laughs> just being lazy, basically. All right, so uh, flooring. Let's see. One, two, three. So I want this to be... Actually, we'll make it bigger, but we won't fill it for now. That's what we'll do. So we'll make it maybe like a five by three. Hello, Shining Gold. Thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. Like about here will do. Okay. And then all this stuff as well. All good. Alright, so then we'll just get... This will be a very basic building. This is just for storage. That's all we care about right now. Oh, dad joke request. Alright, let's get the dad jokes up here. Um, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fush. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, they're getting worse. They get worse each stream. There you go. Dad Oh my god, are we out of wood already? Like, what did I even do with all that wood? Was it in here, maybe? What the heck did I do with it all? I've literally forgotten where I put it already. Unless that was it. I hope not, but it could be. I'm so rubbish at remembering things, I swear. Oh, here we go. Here's some wood. Hey, Kokoma. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Uh, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, guys. Get a massive bottle for yourself with the chair um, for 50k. A massive bottle for yourself with the chair. What do you mean? I'm confused. Talking about chairs, though. I bought a new chair today, guys. So anyone who was in my stream last night, we were talking about this. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm gonna do it. I'm going to get a new chair. I'm really fed up with my back just hurting all the time, being uncomfortable. Like, I spend a lot of time each day sat in this chair, as you guys can imagine, right? So I was like, I think it's time to uh, like get a good chair. So I did it. I got a secret lab, Titan XL. Because um, I'm quite a tall guy, quite a big guy. And it's like, th that was a recommendation. So uh, that's why I went for the XL. Um, and uh, which was, it's good. I was... The XL didn't come in the dead mouse, which I was I was disappointed about. I wanted that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's on its way. I'm very excited about this. Thank you to everyone who suggested that yesterday, in uh, in yesterday's stream. It looks amazing. I I'm so excited for this chair to come. Um, I really am. I'm like, this is by far the best chair I've ever had, and I think it's time. Like, you know, I'm always like, uh, you know, some things in life are expensive and whatever, and they're not worth it, you know, but. It's like, it's like if people spend loads of money on a car, right? I can understand that if you're driving for like several hours every single day, right? If you're spending a lot of time in there, why not have a car that's reliable and that is really comfy and that you enjoy and all that sort of stuff, right? And that's sort of what I'm like with a chair. Like, you know, that's where I'm spending all my time. Why not make it something that's, you know, pretty good? So I've gone for it this time and I'm so, so excited that it's coming. Um, hopefully I will enjoy it indeed. We'll see. But um, yeah. Buy a massive bottle for yourself because you're already getting a chair two and one. Well, this is a big bottle. This right here. Let me see. This holds like, I think one and a half liters of water. That's quite a lot. Thank you for the follow, Jay Bonaparte. I appreciate it. Welcome on the stream. Hello, hello. Um, what order would you prioritize your bronze usage? Just recently reached the bronze age. It depends what you want to do. Um, like the bronze axe is good to get the better wood and extra building materials so uh, that's an important one in my opinion the bronze shield is the, probably the best single item you can get because shields are OP in this game the bronze buckler uh, I would say and then actually we're going to need to do some wood chopping of our own actually it's where's the nearest trees I guess over here now it's changing all the time um, and then the bronze mace is very good particularly if you're going to be going into a swamp 
um, or doing a lot of like fighting those. You know, it's also good against like, skeletons and stuff. So that would be up there. Uh, the carve is great for exploring the cart. Actually, the cart uh, to make the bronze nails up. So bronze nails are for the cart and the carve. Uh, so they're very useful. So it kind of depends. Yeah. Uh, you literally make me do the hardest decisions. You go live on Twitch and release a video at the same time. Funny you should say that, Selene, because I was thinking about this today and I was like, I probably shouldn't do that. It's probably not smart, right? Like, it, it won't make a huge difference, but, like, if I were to release my video at, like, 8 o'clock and then I go live at 9, that's probably better. So it's an hour for people who have watched that video and maybe just found me for the first time and stuff to come follow. For my diehard fans, <laughs> it's uh, an hour for them to watch it and then still catch the stream. So I think moving forwards, I was literally thinking about this before today's stream. I was like, this is this needs to change. So that will be um, that will be changing. Uh, good chair makes all the difference. Learned this last year, bought my new chair, now my back still hurts, uh, but not as bad. Well, like, hey, I really hope that's the same for me because my back uh, is just like constant pain. Very annoying um, and painful, of course. So uh, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, but this chair looks the part. Like I, I've, I've never heard a secret lab um, before, which uh, I know is, is, is shocking for someone who's like a full-time gamer like myself, right? But um, yeah, they. I mean, I did some research online as well, and no one has anything bad to say about them. Um, so I was like, yeah, pretty awesome. Um, and I, I don't know if this is like just me justifying it, but I always do this with stuff where I'm like, like, let's say something's an expensive purchase, right? Let's say something costs you like five hundred dollars right like a lot of money right and i'm like well you can always resell it on gumtree or ebay or whatever right and even if you were to get half of that back that means that you're only really costing yourself half that about right <laughs> um oh hawk halo hello subscribe for eight months i swear i got a notification was it last night or the stream before that said you subscribe for seven months and there was a bit of controversy around it so did you just do something hawk halo or is this is are my notifications broke I'm confused. Please, please do let me know on this one. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about the chair. Should I upgrade my bronze gear or just rush to iron? No, no. Oh my god, I was actually genuinely scared I was going to die there because I got trapped by that tree. Whew. Um, I personally w wouldn't make iron gear other than the iron mace can be useful for defeating bone mass. But other than that, I wouldn't make iron armor and I wouldn't make iron weapons. I'm thinking about this. I don't want to like give you bad advice. Well, no, I don't. But I don't think I will be either on here, which is my hardcore world where I'm like prioritizing not dying, or in Ravenheim. I don't think I'll be making it. Um, iron is useful for other things um, later on in the game. Don't want to give away spoilers, but yeah, and also in building, it's used as well. So and it, and it's not easy to get. So you've got to really like spend it wisely. I don't know that I would make any. Troll armor, if you just upgrade it, is pretty good. Because it gives you the flexibility when you're running around with stuff as well. So, yeah, that'll be my thought. Um, I totally love, 100%, uh, have, and 100% have a secret lab. I think, yeah, that's a positive thing for secret lab, right? I think so. Um, I did it yesterday, but it's been... Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait. Okay, this is what it was. <laughs> um, wait, I did it yesterday, uh, but it's been eight months. Okay, awesome. Well, ha okay, thank you so much for the eight months of subscribing. And then, oh, my goodness. Um, and then a huge thank you as well for gifting out five um, subscribers. I really appreciate that. Um, thank you so, so much. It's it's crazy how, how nice you guys are to me when I'm streaming. And... Uh, and just in general, you know. But yeah, I, I do really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Welcome along to Team Kaizen. <laughs> to those five people. Hardcore for the win, guys. Uh, I assume tonight would be a quieter stream. Because it would be hard for it to compete with last night. Um, you know, because we, we just... It went crazy last night. It was... That was insane. And thank you all, everyone who was there. Uh, that's back again. Um, but, uh, but now we're off to a crazy start on this one as well. <laughs> You're a boomer now. <laughs> You're all good. Yesterday yesterday was amazing. Yesterday was crazy. What am I? What? What's my... Oh, he's encumbered. Okay. Wait, why did you pick stuff up then? I didn't even tell you to pick stuff up. And now you're encumbered. 
Okay, whatever. All right, let's uh, let's head back to the base. Um, yeah, yesterday was crazy. I went to bed on a real high um, from from that stream uh, because it's um, it's yeah it's it's pretty insane. I mean, to get those kinds of numbers like over a hundred, like hundred and I think I think the peak was actually one hundred and thirty-five. I think we hit that at one point, which is yeah, very very cool um, indeed. Okay, back to the storage hut. Hawk Halo is the MVP right now. He is indeed. He's up there, number one, on the uh, on the leaderboard. The MVP of the stream. Uh, how did I? What is? Did I place that wrong? Somehow I did. Okay, that's what was happening there. And then all of this. All right, I should probably sleep as well. Just to um. Oh. So we'll sleep now, and then we'll finish this storage room in the morning, and get some storage actually uh, organized a bit. It'll be a good time. Oh, 138 was it? Okay. Wow. Well, that's yeah. So that's that's insane. I mean, really insane. But um, yeah, I, I mentioned in in last night's stream, you know, that I spoke to my YouTube coach, and he was looking at my numbers recently, and all the uh, analytics and stuff like that. And he was saying, in terms of Twitch, I should have a goal that by the end of this year, should be expecting to get two to 300 people um, per stream, which would be absolutely awesome. Um, but that's why I've now, as part of the strategy moving forward, I'm starting to really heavily promote the Twitch a lot more than I used to. Um, because it's hopefully gonna be you know worth it and whatever. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but let's just start and get stuff organized here. And then, where's the cart? That's what we need. So we want the cart, and let's start with these chests here. Get them out of the way, and we can get the cart to and from. Um, get your number one Valheim streamer. Though to do that, you're talking thousands, so I don't think that's going to happen, um, but, which is fine. But, um... You know, if I was, if, if if we were getting a couple hundred a stream by the end of the year, that would be very, very cool. Um, you know, that would be, uh, yeah, that would. I'd be very pleased with that, of course. <laughs> and uh, it's like anything; it's exponential. You know, it's like that old joke, right? Like, how do you write um, a best, or how do you increase your chances of writing a bestseller? And it's like you already have a bestseller released, you know, because as soon as you're a best-selling author. Like the next book you release just gets you out there. Um, it's the same sort of thing. Like on Twitch, you know, if if if, if I had, like, once you've got a thousand people watching you, it's way easier to get two thousand than the jump from like a hundred to two hundred because you get ranked on Twitch and people see you, and so you know it makes all the difference. Um, all right, let's start with stone. Over in here. Forty-four now in twenty minutes. Yeah, it's it's been good. These are the sorts of numbers that I, I'm normally on when I'm streaming, and that's why last night was crazy, because to go up there to um. Oh, that's true. We have to move all that. Yeah, to get up to like the um, the numbers we did yesterday of those, hundred and forty. I think uh, you guys were saying right that you know, such a, a crazy thing to happen. All right, let's organize the cart a bit. That'll make life easier. So, stone in there, rock in there, get some wood down in here. Then we can have um, trophies in there, and then farming here. And farming will need at least two chests, I'd imagine, but still. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy um, to do more chilled streams as well sometimes, you know, I, I don't mind them. But obviously as someone who's just trying to, to grow and... and uh, do this full time, all that sort of stuff. Then obviously you do want to be hitting better numbers. Um, so it's a, it's a it's a fine balance that you're kind of working with all the time. Right? What is? Let's put those over there, so I know that's everything after the arrows. Let's get rid of that. And yep, start taking all stuff as well, I guess. All right. Okay, well, my peak um, is at uh, 71 during um, seven days to die. 
stream and my new PC. See you soon. Be back to stream. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, getting a new PC is like the most exciting thing in the world to me. <laughs> so, in fact, I entered a competition. Um, oh, must have been several months ago now. And it's no wrong chest. It's a competition that's raising money for charity. So it was a good cause. So that was that was a tick. Um, and it's also a um, you can win a gaming setup. And you can spend thirty thousand dollars on the gaming setup if you win, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like I got to enter that, just because like it would be insanely cool. Can you imagine if you had that much money spent on a gaming thing? What would I even get at that point? Oh, hydrate. Here we go. <laughs> hello, Ash. Hello, hello. Uh, Jay Bird apart. I, I probably will get around to protecting my base, but I'm not too worried about it just yet. Um. The raids at this stage of the game are not difficult, so that's farming, we'll leave that for farming too, and then this can be deer hides and stuff in here. So yeah, so I'm just, uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. We'll, we'll get to that stage though. Got some wood here to put away, back to farming. So apologies for this, uh, but I had to do it at some point on stream, because obviously everything I'm doing here is on stream. And uh, we do need to sort out our storage unfortunately, so... Yep, just going to have to bite the bullet and we're doing it here now. Um, I know it's probably not the most interesting thing in the world. But, um, got to be done, unfortunately, guys. Uh, it's all in here, right? So we need 20 of you. There we go. Hey, Ironside. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Nice to have you here in a hardcore stream as well. As the uh, the Ravenheim one yesterday. Uh, right, rare stuff can go in here. This can be all the tools and torches and stuff. Kind of makes sense. Hey, Pobob, welcome back to you as well. Um, yes, my night's good. Nice and chilled right now. Um, just kind of um, derping around here on the hardcore world. Uh, getting some storage sorted out a bit because it's been a thorn in my side for such a long time. And it's one of those jobs, there's so many of these things in life I find where it's like the thought of the job is way worse than actually doing it. Like you always, it feels like it's going to be this horrible thing or whatever. And then when you get around to doing it, it doesn't take as long as you expected and stuff. And it's not so bad after all. Do I not have any blooming coal? Alright, maybe I have to worry about smelting later. It's just I want it to be efficient. Alright, well what I'll do then is I will... Let's get some coal being made up. Uh, how's your night or morning or whatever? Oh, here it is all the coal. Right, okay. So we need 20 of you. Storage in Valheim is kind of a pain. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't know what they can really do to sort it out. I think chests could be have better storage in them. I don't think you get that much um, storage space per chest. I know reinforced chests have now been um, expanded. Uh, Big Jim, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Um, but yeah, like just in general, I think this could still do more. Ooh, more hydration. Man, you guys are keeping me over... I think I need to up the hydration <laughs> channel points. It's, uh... I'm drinking so much more than I used to in my streams now. But that's, that'll do me good right... Oh, wait. What happened here? I think one of the chests just broke. Oh, we're good. We're getting through this, though. You know, like I said, it doesn't take as long as you think it's going to. And it just like, it cleanses the soul, right? Sorting out your storage. <laughs> it just makes you feel so much better. Uh, that's also Big Jim. Thanks for coming on over from uh, from YouTube. Uh, you're you're in the same boat as a lot of people here who, who found me on YouTube first and then come on over. This is a pretty good way to grow a, a Twitch channel is to have YouTube, uh, have a YouTube channel promoting what you do and stuff as well. Uh, all right, where are we at here? So this is all farming stuff here. Okay. Um, that there is also going to be farming. Wait. I feel like there's, all that stuff was also in here. Yeah, so I need to like be smart about this. Uh, switch the eat and hydrate costs around. Yeah, I could do, because eating is probably something I need to do more in Valheim. Uh, particularly on the hardcore, but just in general. So yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. Perhaps we will do that. Obviously, I won't worry about it in today's stream, but yeah. Okay, so the leather stuff can go in there as well. Let's make a chest here for resin. 
because that ends up being a lot. And then all of our armor in there. No, wait. Rare stuff in there. Uh, Drucifer, thank you so much. Uh, gifted sub to the community. And uh, it went to the Big Cheese 215. Um, GG to Big Cheese, and thank you so much for the uh, the gifted sub there, Drucifer. I do really appreciate that. All, right, all this stuff in here. Yep. Oh, Great Orf Eyes. That's definitely needing a chest of its own. We get so many of them pretty quickly. So, another 10. Yo. All right. So, just for Great Orf Eyes right there. Stones down here. Now, I can build on top of this as well, obviously, so we can expand the storage out a bit, but for now, it's just like, that's what's happening, I guess. Uh, oh, i got to eat as well. Um, thank you. Have some food. Switch to hydrate and ask me anything. Could do, could do. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll look at the, the channel points for sure, because I think, yeah, just in general, they're not really set up the best right now. I think there's some things that could be, um, could be done better there. So, we'll, we'll try that. Uh, da, 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 da. Not there, not there. It's this one. I'll right, keep mushrooms together. Let's actually move food to be cooked into here. Put that in there, that in there. Let me keep some more stuff together. Uh, mushrooms, keep those together. Actually, resin's in the wrong place anyway. So that needs to go into there. And the resin was this one? No, this one. And bones. Okay, resin and bones together for now. Because it's it just needs to be together, that in there, and the wood. Here we go. Okay, let's have some coffee here. <laughs> that's true, Drusifer. Um, well, that's greatly appreciated. Um, there's going to be more giveaways coming up soon, guys. As well, whenever I hit like milestone things, I like to do little giveaways. Um, you know, just to celebrate them with the community. That's obviously what we were doing last night. Um, and hitting 50k subs on YouTube, definitely a nice milestone. And um, there'll be... I'll obviously do some stuff on YouTube for that, but I'll also do some stuff on here as well. And uh, yeah, it'll be awesome to uh, to have some fun celebrating that with you guys. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but... Um, yeah, watch this space. Oh, we're actually really getting through this now. Lovely. Okay, all that's done. Um, so I told you, it never takes as long as you think. Now this can just be like a work area. And uh, we'll make it look prettier and stuff in the future. Hello! No... Wait, no one? No one, maybe? Um, anyway, thank you uh, for coming along. I'm glad my YouTube videos helped you out. And thanks for coming on over to the Twitch. Need to stop using my channel points if I want this 10k on Ravenheim. You do. Yeah, you got to save them. Um, I think that's the thing. I was thinking more people would save them up. And so I made some smaller rewards um, and whatever. But then they're like now drowning me. <laughs> no one. Thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate that. Um, but it's all good fun. That's what they're there for, right? The, the channel points things. They're supposed to be a bit of fun. And, uh, and they have been so far. And if you guys ever have suggestions of things to add or change or whatever, they're always welcome. All suggestions are welcome, guys. Um, you know, I'll listen to every idea. Won't necessarily implement, <laughs> but I'll, I always like to hear them, at least. Um, and thank you for the follow. Good to find as well. I might have to start a new seed. Can't locate the merchant. Yeah, a merchant can be a pain to find. It can be annoying if you can't find him. Um, where did all our trophies go? They were way back here, weren't they? Maybe in this one. Okay. Oops, not that. It's that one there. Let's have some more coffee. No worries, Kokoma. Enjoy your class. Study hard, my friend. Oh, this feels so much better. <laughs> Having all this stuff put away. Feels, feels a lot better. I don't know, it's something that stresses me out in games, having all my stuff unorganized. I don't like it. And then once I do it, it just feels amazingly better. Like, when I used to play Minecraft, it was one of the first things I'd do, because I had it down to, like, a fine art of how I'd do it, because I'd played the game for so long. Um, but in Ravenheim, it's like I'm still new to it and stuff, and I have, it, does, it doesn't occur to me as, up, as much. 
Right, so the ancient season is going here. We need two more of those to spawn the elder boss. All right, Bosch. We got a storage room. Life is good. Coffee equals dehydrate. Maybe we need a rehydrate and a dehydrate. You know? <laughs> that could be uh, another channel point. Are two star balls harder to tame? Um, I actually don't know. It's a good question. That is a very good question. Um, I'm not sure is the answer, I'm afraid. Sorry for that. Yeah, that's true, Felix. You, you could keep me around longer with the coffee there. The coffee hacks. Um, okay, so now we have all this. What I want to do is make up a load of bronze. There we go. And we could make up a carve and go exploring. But the other thing I want to make is... I've got nine tin. I need one more. Wait, actually, it could be in here. No, it's not. All right, so let's do... We'll get ten. Um, oh, we'll, we'll leave it in here for a second because we're carrying too much. Let's go grab some um, coal out of here. Actually, coal should really just be all staying in the cart anyway. Uh, but for now, let's just put all that in there. And then let's grab some tin out. So I want to make a cauldron up, so. There we go. Um, in a YouTube world, did you change your main base or it's possible to finish the game without building many new bases? Um, I think you're always going to have to look to build some smaller bases as you progress through, because, like, doing. The swamp biome, I recommend you do a little base somewhere near there, especially if you're getting a lot of iron and stuff. And then maybe, uh, and the, like the plains as well and stuff like that. So I think making multiple bases is is kind of like the way the game wants you to play it as well. Um, but, but you don't have to. Obviously, you can play it however you want. But I think your life will be made easier by making the multiple ones. Hey, Vitamin D's in the chat. Hello, D. Little uh, little sniper shot there. Keep it all quiet and then comes in with a hydrate. I think they should add an option to to add all the ores you have. Um, what do you mean to add all the ores you have? Well, that's enough now. We've got this, so we can actually make our cauldron up. All right, so let's, uh, well, let's get the fireplace down. So I need. Five and two. <laughs> Five of you. Two of you. Because this will give us some better food to go exploring with in a second. When we're off on the carve and stuff. I also want to check out about making a fine wood bow as well. Um, could be very useful. What's this? This is the forge. So the fine wood bow is not in here, is it? It's in the crafting bench, but we need a higher level crafting bench, which I think this one in here is. Let me make the uh, fine wood bow in here. Uh, so we need 10 fine wood, 2 deer hide, and 10 core wood. I know I've got the core and the deer hide. I'm not sure if I have the fine wood or not. Well, let's find out. And now I can look at my wood chest because I know what I'm doing. And we do indeed. Okay, wonderful. You know, actually, let's, um, let's take a lot of this stuff and a lot of this stuff. And deer hide. There we go. Because I want to upgrade this as much as possible. If I can get like a level 2 or a level 3, I definitely want to do that. Okay, so. Uh, let's repair all the stuff over here as well. So let's have a look. Fine wood bow. Yes, please. And to upgrade you. We can definitely do one upgrade. Can we do another one? We can indeed. And we won't be able to do any more because we don't have a level 4 workstation here, but could we change that potentially? Uh, that's workbench improvement for three bronze. That's probably not necessary. To be fair. But at least we have a better bone out. That's pretty good. I'll see how many feathers and stuff I've got. We'll make up a ton of arrows to go around with. Oh, this one. Here we go. For the old bow. So that's already filled up. That was quick. Oh, that was the one. And then wood was here. Not the most organized storage, <laughs> but sort of doing the job. Okay, so we've got the better bow. Uh, that was it. Arrows is the next thing. 
So for the arrows, let's grab what are you? Let's see about uh, resin as well. And feathers. I want to get a load of fire arrows made up. They're pretty good, the fire arrows. Flint ones are good too, but uh, I don't mind the fire ones. I have outposts dotted around the world. Uh, yeah, with portal in each one. Yeah, that's pretty much the way to do it, I think. Um, so, yeah. Gone rogue, guys. I'm hydrating without you. Uh, is it just resin we need for the extra? Let's let's do some more then. Be nice to make up about two hundred of these things to go off exploring with, because like it, you know, we want to take as many as possible. Because like if we die, that's it anyway. We've got to delete the world, so you know, just as well gear right up and take as much with you as you can, because it's not like you're saving it for something later in the game. You know, just as well go all out. Oh, now we're out of wood. <laughs> for goodness sake. All right. Well, at least this is all stuff we have, I guess. That does make life easier. Here we go. Let's get this done. More fire arrows here. Here we go. How do you brew your coffee? Have you ever tried an AeroPress? I don't think I have ever tried an AeroPress. I'm not sure what that is. Um, if it's something that cafes use, then maybe I would have. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I um, my coffee, I've got two ways to do my coffee. I've got a... Um, oh, okay. Can we get to this? There we go. There is a fire nearby. What are you talking about? Thank you. Uh, I've got a percolator, so sometimes I'll do the percolator. And I've also got myself a, um, a kettle. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, I own a kettle, guys. It's pretty flash, I know. But, um, so, in the percolator, I'll just do, like, black coffee sometimes. You know, buy, like, bags of ground coffee and just do that. Actually, we should make some more food to take with us if we can. Uh, and then I'll also make up cheap mockers with the kettle, which is just like instant coffee. And then I'll put in there some um, uh, chocolate, like, uh, you yeah, know, like um, hot chocolate powder. Put some of that in as well. It's like a cheap mocker, right? It's kind of good, though. All right, let's get some stuff cooking. It's cooking, good looking. Hey, guys, I just watched Ep2. Just wanted to stop by for a while. Love your vids. Oh, thank you so much. Um... That is SXDL Vince. I guess we'll call you Vince. <laughs> um, glad you're enjoying the videos. The, the Ravenheim ones have been really fun to make, actually, because uh, they are, yeah, you know, like tutorials are just very informative and factual and stuff. Whereas those ones can be a bit more creative, have a bit of fun with, and I've been really enjoying them. So, uh, yeah, it's good that that series is uh, off to a nice start. And I do think it's got a lot of potential for the future as well. We grabbed all that, right? Okay, so we've got some food. Now we want to use the cauldron to make up some other stuff. Uh, I guess some Queen's Jam is the best we're going to be able to do right now. You like how I name a lot of stuff in Ravenheim? Yeah, that just started by by chance, really, um, with the Bridge of Hope. <laughs> and, then, and then it just went from there. And it was great because we were streaming at the time, and stream was getting involved, and they named some things. And so now, yeah, now we've been going naming crazy over there. But yeah, no, it has. it's been good fun. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it, adds, it adds something to it as well, you know. Gives people a, an option to get involved and stuff as well with name and stuff. So uh, there's a lot of positives to it. All right, let's go get rid of everything, and then we're going to go exploring. Um, wait, no. Before we do that, we need 80 bronze nails. Glad you're enjoying it, Vince, and... Um, I think, yeah, the, it's going to be funny, um, particularly when we all get together. That was so much fun uh, in that stream that we did. So, uh, so yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty more of that to come. All right, so I want those to stay on me. This can all go. Will you be playing with the late, with Ravens next stream? Um, I don't know, Phoenix. I've put into our Discord, the Ravenheim Discord, uh, I said to the guys, look, I'm going to be live, you know, gave them the time I'm live and stuff. And said it'd be great if they could come down and we could do some stuff together. So I'm trying. Uh, but uh, it just depends on their schedules and stuff. And they've all got different things. Thank you, Zelaney. Hydrate away there. Okay. Um, so we shall have to see about that. But um, yeah. Oh, I need 10 deer hide. Alright, we're going on a deer hunt first then. 
Um, we've got seven normal arrows to get up to ten Deerheim. Let's Deerheim? Deerhide. Let's do it. You put hydrate on low points, so you'd go to the bathroom a lot. So we have chair stream. That's exactly it. Yeah. No, it's, I'm, all, I'm all about the adverts, the, the warm minute adverts when, when I do the chair stream, you know. <laughs> um, yes, I uh, I think it's a good thing because it's going to mean I'll drink more water, but it's, you know. And, and you guys are happy, you get more chair streams. So, I mean, everyone's a winner, really. And chair streams are getting approved soon when my new chair arrives. Oh, boy. You guys have got a better better looking chair to look at each, each chair stream. Don't know what to do with this chair that I'm sat on right now when the new one arrives. Um, I might see if Splash wants it. <laughs> we'll see. Trying to get the Dasani sponsorship. Oh my goodness. Dasani really takes me back because that water, I've only ever seen it in the United States. And um, the first time I knew of its existence was when I was a kid and my uh, family and I we all went to Disneyland and it was being sold there in Florida, like everywhere. Um, because I remember at the time I was calling it Disney Water because I was in Florida and I was like, it was everywhere. And I was like, oh, it's like Disney Water. Um, so, yeah, a little story around Dasani. There you go. So, if I could be sponsored by any water, Dasani would probably be it. <laughs> or some of those waters that do that thing where when you buy from them, the money goes to charity. That's pretty good. Because they don't really cost any extra. And it's like, it's, all, it's just water at the end of the day. It's water. Like, it's just like. like like some really expensive water companies, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, how how are people paying extortionate amounts for water? Like this right here, this is just tap water. Comes out of the tap, I put it in my fridge, if I have time and remember. More often than not, it just comes straight out of the tap and stays in there, and then I drink it. You should buy a spotlight that you put on when you go to the bathroom. A spotlight for the oh for the chair. Oh my god, how good would that be? So it's just like a highlighted chair. Love it. I thought at first you were talking about like some sort of camera in my bathroom. I was like, no. <laughs> this is not happening. Uh, what are you trying to get 3k off um, for your goal? Uh, subs. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sub goal. 3,000. Oh, sorry. Not a sub goal. I wish. Um, no, it's, it's a follower goal. Sorry. 3,000 uh, followers. We're on 2,761 right now. Um, I, I recently did a revamp on my Twitch, and one of the things that I added was a sub goal. Sorry, I keep saying that. It's because of YouTube. I'm so used to saying that. Um, a follower goal. Um, just, just I don't know, something else, something a bit fun. And um, this is countdown to like a giveaway as well, because I always do give giveaways, um, as we were talking about before, like for milestones and stuff. So yeah, it's just like different things. My goodness, there is no deer here at all. Um, yeah, this is annoying. Alright, we'll run the other way. See if we can find something. I should probably eat some food. I should also probably get my Ike there going. Oh dear, indeed. Oh, Ike there. Oh dear God. Um, okay. Well, we have to find them to make the boat. So we just got to keep doing this, actually. Uh, goodbye, Phoenix. Um, where are you off? <laughs> um, oh, uh, Marjun, thank you so much for uh, for following. Uh, sorry, for subscribing. Uh, why am I mixing this up all night? I'm saying followers instead of subs, and vice versa. It's ridiculous. Uh, but thank you so much, Marjun. I really appreciate um, the support that uh, that all you guys have given me. Um, thank you all so much, and welcome along to Team Guys in there, Marjun. Is it worth clearing out rock formations, or do you stop once you get the chest? Oh, like in the Black Forest? Um, hmm. Oh, wait, you mean, the, you mean the treasure chest, the boats and stuff, right? Oh, you're off to hockey. Okay, enjoy, Phoenix. Uh, I'll catch you in another another stream or something. Um, yeah, I mean, it depends. If you need the stone, you can, you can keep clearing them out just to get the stone or to use that aesthetic. But you'll only find bones once you've got the chest. There's only one chest per one. And then there'll be some bones, but it depends if you want bones. They're kind of useful, but yeah. All right, this this isn't good. Where are all the deer? There used to be loads around here. I'm trying to explore without going too far from my base, so I want to find the deer and then make the car and then go exploring. 
the treasure chest, yeah. Two bones and no chest, really? I thought, I've never had one that didn't have a chest in, so I assumed that they all had a chest in. Have you dug down deep enough? That must be, um... Yeah, that's not so good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not... Oh, I finally find them and I've scared them off. Oh, one star. Two one stars, okay. We've just got to try and get these. Dang. So hard once you've scared them. Alright, we got one. Where did the other dude go? Alright, they are still running around here. Just gotta find them. Okay. Okay, okay. Um... Let's see, did I, I got all the deer hide from that one. So we're up to seven, now I've got to try and find these other dudes. Oh, there they are, there's one up there. Um, there are big rocks that form a circle. I don't know actually, yeah, I've not, um, I think I did one and I didn't find anything, but then someone did say that there is stuff under them, so I'm not so sure about that one. Oh, that was close. Ready, dude? Alright. Oh, I'm on the fire arrows now, so I'm sort of wasting them. Which is annoying. Uh, we'll have to make some more up. Oh, that was close. It's annoying how long they spook for. They're so unpredictable as well. This dude. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Story of my life. Uh, Alright, if we run this way for a bit, I think he will eventually calm down and we'll find him, hopefully. Maybe. Oh, here he is. Alright. No! Oh my god, how did I miss the first time? Oh. Serious? Such a bad shot! Alright, dad joke time. I see it, Mecco. I see it. Um, let's do this. Where's my dad jokes at? Oh, wait. What? Oh, my God. Okay. For a second there, I thought I couldn't get back to my screen. Um, well, actually, we were just talking about deer, and a deer joke came to mind. So, I'm gonna get, are you going to get two dad jokes for the price of one here? Um, you probably heard this one before, but hey, it came to mind because of the deer thing. What do you call... A deer with no eyes. No idea. Ha ha ha. Hey, we got him, finally. Uh, and then the magic, uh, the, the joke that I just um, generated here. What happened to the magical tractor? It turned into a field. <laughs> oh, they're so bad. Why are they so bad? All right, 11. Good. Oh, there's another deer. I, I didn't even realize. Keep spooking them. All right, where's he going? Oh, as if that missed. Really thought I had him there. We don't technically need this one. But we'll get him anyway. <laughs> Dad jokes are the best. They really are. Alright, let's get back to the... Oh, another dude. No, obviously look at him and hit him. Thank you. Blooming thing. Oh, I should be eating some of this jam as well. It'll give us the extra stamina too. Keep forgetting all this stuff. Bit that as well. There we go. I just laughed very not cute at the deer joke. <laughs> Did you do a snort? Those are the worst, right? <laughs> What's my favourite weapon? You basically play with bow and arrows. I like bow and arrows, yeah I do. Um, the dragon fang bow is pretty awesome. Favourite melee weapon? Probably the mace. Uh, it just seems to do pretty good damage against everything, and in particular against stuff that you want it to do good damage against, if you know what I mean, so. <coughs> I'm choking on oxygen right now. Um, yeah, so um, probably that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's not. It's okay. I won't tell anyone if you don't. But you did just tell everyone, so. So now I'll tell everyone. <laughs> Alright, that in there. 
Get our wood back as well. The resin. Oh, and mushrooms can go away as well. Alright, to make the carve, what do we need here? 20 resin, 30 fine wood. We don't have enough resin? Are you serious? How do I not have enough resin? Like, that's the thing you always have loads of in this game. 30 fine wood. This is quite expensive to make the cut of, actually. I can't believe i got to go off to get resin. Uh, Grey Dwarfs, I suppose. Right. Is there any better way of getting the resin? Still no idea. <laughs> Pretty good, actually, John Quero. Not bad. Hmm, okay. Porcupine is the best way. Actually, I haven't used the porcupine yet, so maybe maybe it would be, uh, to be fair. Um, Alright. Resin, resin, resin. If I was a resin, where would I be? We just have to kill Grodos, right? If we cut down trees, do we get resin as well, I think? Is that right? If we cut down like a, a big tree here, maybe? see. Why am I thinking we get resin from trees? Am I wrong on that? Am I just being a nub right now? Let's find out. It's a peachy tree. It is indeed. <laughs> yes, resin from trees. Alright, so I wasn't just imagining that. We got 13, we need 20. Oh, there's some there. Aha. We got 14, we need 20. This is going to be a slow process. But worth it, I suppose. I'm just so surprised that I don't have enough resin. Oh, actually, I didn't... I just remembered. I didn't do all my other chests, guys, back at the base. I bet you I do have resin in there. Blimey, we're not doing my way, didn't we? There we go. Yeah, let's go check that out. It'll be worth a look. Little trees might be more efficient. Okay, if we have to go back through that, then we'll, uh, you know, to get more, then, then we'll look at that. But I think I might actually have some. Because I'm so surprised that I'm out of it. It's just something you don't run out of in this game, like, ever. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Should probably get the honey while I'm here as well. Ready for our adventure. And then we gotta hope we don't bump into any sea serpents. Although I did just make a load of fire arrows, so that's probably why I'm out. Oh, here we go, here it all is. See, I told you, like, you just don't run out of it. Not in this game. Alright. So, now we got all that, let's go put everything here away. I'll, uh, sort through those chests later. I wanna go and do a bit of exploring now. I think that'll be fun. Burn on a burn. Alright, so now I have everything I need to make the card right. Correct. Okay, good. Um, what the heck? Okay. And anything else? Now I need to take 10 of this to make a, a workbench. The rest we'll put back. Just for the weight. Oh, for goodness sake. Not you. Alright, exploring time, but we will sleep first. I think it's turning night time. I think we're just about to sleep. Make the most of it. Here we go. Then we're good. Burial chamber would be good to find as well, actually. Yeah, get ourselves uh, some more some more certlings so we can portal to and from further places on the map. All right, let's have a look. We got to go all the way over here. Crazy big journey. So, sort of this way. Right, yeah. All right, it's exploring time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hope we don't die. But if we do, we do. Delete the world. Play some Ravenheim. I have a good plan B. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Guapo. That's sort of what happened when I did sort out all my storage today. But, um, yeah. I don't want to do more of that right now. 
That Ravenheim emote looks pretty good, I reckon. To my own horn a little bit, I know, I know. But I like genuinely, it, it's it like stands out and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we need a workbench. Um, there we go. And we need a carve to carve its way through the ocean for us. Okay, super scary, because Sea Serpent could easily kill me at this stage of the game. But, we gotta, we gotta try it. Alright, Tally Ho, first little boating adventure on the hardcore world. Let's see how this goes. Everybody be on the lookout for serpents. Although by the time you let me know, it could be too late. If we find a serpent, I guess we have to try to just avoid it. Like, just sail in whatever direction the wind wants us to. And get the heck out of there. Very cautious about this. <laughs> what do dinosaurs use on the floors of their kitchens? Reptiles? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What did the dinosaur use to build its house? Hmm. I don't know. A dinosaur, of course, of course. <laughs> Do you think they'll add an option to row the boat so you can go against the wind? Uh, possibly. I don't know. They, they, they seem to like to make it difficult for us to explore. Dad joke time. Let's do it. Joe, yeah, actually, uh, I'll, you, you can have a two for one as well because uh, the first ever joke I was told is nautical related, right? And we're on the ocean right now. And uh, this is the first joke I was ever told when I was like three years old. Uh, what do sea monsters have for lunch? Fish and ships. <laughs> great. Oh, okay. I thought this was something there. No, we're good. Yeah, great joke. All right, let's see. Let's get a let's get a random one generated here. Okay, some of these are, some of these are too bad. I can't even say them for different reasons. All right, looks like we're coming to something here. Um, multitasking for the win right now. Let's go over this way. Oh my goodness! This honestly, this dad jokes. Some of them are just so bad. Oh my god! And some of them are not PG as well. I read it through so many right now that I'm like, I can't say that. I can't say that. Oh no. Oh my god. Did you hear about the new corduroy pillows? They're making headlines. That's that's what we're dealing with. That was the best I could find. I was have to generate like eight of them. Might need to find a new generator. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Alright, there's so much over here I want. We're going to dock on this island for a little minute. It's got to be done. Yeah, you can paddle against the wind. It's just slow. Um, sometimes you don't have much choice. But like right now, I just wanna wanna get on out there. Your daughter's laughing at you. Just over a year. So cute. I'm surprised she understands them <laughs> at that age. That's pretty good. All right. So, I want to be careful to protect my boat. And these dudes here aren't going to make that easy for me. In fact, probably putting up next to the spawner is about as smart as using a hairdryer in the shower. So, let's go down here a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sirium, my goodness. Everybody knows dad jokes, you see? People remember them. People people have got them down. It's, uh... That's because that's they're just that amazing, right? So it looks like a... Is that, that's a troll cave, isn't it? I believe. We'll check it out in a second. Um, let's just... This is a much better place to be, so... We can even dock here a little bit more nicely than we could on the other one. So it's just like... There we go. Without damaging the boat too much. 
Make a little dot there. That's where the boat is. That is a troll cave. All right. Well, I'm not going in there then. But I will get a, get the bones. <sighs> Tempting. Get stuff all around about. Oh, there's another spawner over here. All right. Let's do this. I want to get. I need three ancient seeds. So we need to kill the brutes, and get those ancient seeds. So. Come on, brutes. I know that you want me. You've indicated. Wish we'll get some stuff over here. Thistles are useful. These are useful. There's a brute. He's on fire. He's running away. Did you drop a seed? You did. I only need one more now. Alrighty. Don't like the shaman dudes. But they are easier to kill than the brutes, so... That's good. Oh, that's stamina. Any strat for killing trolls in caves? If you want to cheat it, people have said, like, you know, you can just kind of run in, shoot it, then come out of the cave, run away a bit, so it sort of resets and goes to the back of the cave, then run back in. Um, honestly, the best thing is just get yourself a good shield. The serpent shield is really good. If you work on your blocking power, you can easily block 100% of damage. Go in with a lot of stamina and just block it and then dagger it and knife it and sword it and whatever other weapon you've got until... It's dead. I know that sounds kind of just like obvious, but pretty that's pretty much the only way to go, I think. Um, one thing I was wondering, I suppose you could place down like um, campfires in there as well, because it's quite compact. Set the troll on fire. That might help as well. Guess that could be a thing. It bugged and the troll got stuck in the walls. That's not good. All right, come on, give me a great off brute. Let's get a bit further away. I don't know if that's going to affect things or not, but. There's a brute, okay. If you drop a seed, we can go home. Okay, that one was a lot weaker. Didn't drop a seed, did he? Nope, still on the one. Where are you two? Okay. Come on, give me some brutes. Is that a brute? Could be. No, normal. You're destroying your own area here. Oh, I'm just punching him right now. Oh, hello. One star. So, hopefully this one will drop seeds. Or just one seed will be fine. Let's just melee him. There we go. Really? He didn't drop one? Dude. Taking out the spawner does drop seeds, but do I want it for later? That's the thing. Maybe I should just take the spawner out. There was another one just around the corner. Why did the turkey cross the road? He was chasing the chicken. No, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, withered bones are used to spawn in bone mass. Um, and you need, I think, 10 of them from memory. There's a brute here now. Maybe we won't have to destroy the spawner. Oh, 
There we go. Go on, give me a seed. Nope. He's rubbish. I think the spawners show up again in other locations. Yeah, there, there's other spawners out there. So um, that we, that we actually have one near here. So I could destroy this. And then uh, look to... There we go. We get some seeds out of it this way. Well, are we overweight already here? Oh, come back. Whoa. Um, Alright, we've got two seeds on us right now. Which is enough. They only dropped one seed. Is that... I thought it dropped more than one, or at least it had a chance to. I think it can drop up to three, but we got unlucky there. Anyway, whatever, we've, we've got enough, so... All right, let's see. Go back to our boat now, I suppose. Um, or actually, maybe we should just find a barrel chamber in this black forest, then we can go home. That's actually... Yeah, that's a better idea. Let's do that. Then we can set up portals. Yeah, that's a cool idea. All right, give me a barrel chamber. That's the next. That's the next job. Yeah, don't ignore them. Pick them up. In fact, as a general rule, don't ignore anything in this game. It's surprising how much of the stuff you need later on in the game. So much stuff that I could just walk by because I was like, oh, this is getting tedious. Like, stopping and getting everything. But it's a lot easier doing that as you go than having to go back and, like, try and find specific things. Because that really can be uh, very tedious later on in the game. Hmm... Alright, I see you, dear, but I'm not too worried right now. I just want a burial chamber. Blueberries are good, though. Hmm. Yeah, if we can get a certain cause, that would be great for the, the teleporting later on. We can teleport to and from the, uh, the Black Forest where we're going to fight the Elder. Maybe even set up a base there, and then we can, like, portal home if we get into some trouble. To try and preserve our life in this hardcore world, right? Seems smart. What's this? Okay, I don't think it was anything. Alright. Massive black forest. I'm sure there'll be a burial chamber in here. Hello, Else Toaster. Better late than never. Crows are a good way to find the barrel chambers. I heard this. Um, oh, there's a barrel chamber. There we go. We're good. All right, three and five. These dudes, seriously. I don't have my stag breaker on me. Or much room for anything, so... That's the thing. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Right, okay. Let's eat this. Yeah. Maybe we just need to mark this for now. Hey, Wiggly. Hello, hello. Merchant. Oh, my God. I totally didn't see that. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Oh, thank you, guys. I somehow blooming missed that. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. All right. I have a good idea. Let's... Well, it's an idea. Um, furniture. Right, let's just put stuff in here. All right. Just... Actually, I'll keep that on me in case... If this gets destroyed and I lose it, it's not the end of the world. But we'd rather not. And I'm going to try and get some certain cores. Make a portal here. And then we can portal to and from. Set up a base. We've got Haldor. That is so cool. Thank you, guys. How did I bloom and miss that? I'm such a nub. All right. Let's get some cores. All right. We're going to storm this. Coming through like a pro. Hardcore mode ain't nothing. When you're playing with a pro Kaizen. Oh, yeah. Now watch me die. And watch me nay nay. I hate myself. Alright. <laughs> Let's, uh... Come on, certainly cause. I only need, like, technically I need two right now. I mean, four would be ideal. I haven't found any yet. We're like two-thirds of the way through this blooming thing. Really? You really gonna do this to me, game?
Um, um, oh my god, I can't believe how unlucky we are here. Like, although I just found Haldor. Shut up, Kaizen. You can't moan about bad luck. You just found the trader in like your second ever. Oh, there's a certain core. Uh, this sort of stuff will be good to trade with Haldor. Yes, two. All right. If we find two more, then uh, I'll be saying, hey, because it'll be happy days. That is a reference that is long before my time. So if anyone gets that, GG to you. But literally, there's only two in here. I mean, that is technically all we need. I'm just a little bit disappointed. Oh, actually, no, we do need four. Yeah, because I can't just leave it. Because, yeah, no, four is, is the required number. Dang. So we got to find another one now. Oh, well. We, got, we found Haldor. Don't make you feel old. <laughs> How old are you, Wiggly? Because that, that reference is, like I say, that's before my time. And I'm old, but maybe you're old. Oh, there's a mountain biome here, too. Ha ha ha. Fiddly D. 32. Oh, yeah, you're way older than me. Jeez, you make me feel like a baby. <laughs> I wish. I'm still 21 at heart, you know. That's what counts, right? Ooh. So if there's a skeleton around here, does that mean there could be a burial chamber around here too? Actually, no, because it could just be one of the houses, right? So mean. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a gen, generally bad person, you know. There are, yeah, there's a lot of skeletons here. Oh, there's, there's a something. There's a something. There is indeed a something. Is this a troll cave? What is it, guys? I wish there was a way of telling from the outside. I, I don't know how you guys tell. Tell me what I'm missing here. I'm going to wait for chat to tell me what this is. Trolls used to give you nightmares. Ah, they're, they're all right, really. They're reasonably friendly. What is that? I can hear this random sound. It's a chamber... Because troll caves are bigger. You're right, guys. It's burial chambers. Imagine that. You lie to me. And I go in and die. In a, in a troll cave. Whoa. Alright. Hit him. Hit him again. There we go. <laughs> Stamina was going. Hey, one more needed. Come on. We gonna get there. We gonna do this. Um, okay, well, literally one more certain core. And I can... Uh, I can get out of here. What do I need to buy from Haldor? Oh, the Christmas hat. That's the main thing. But other than that, <laughs> what else do I need to buy from him? Uh, the Megan Jaw would be good. The light thing would be okay for content creation purposes. Hit him. Where's all my stamina going? Right, some Queen's Jam. There we go. That'll help. Actually, I'm sprinting around this thing. That's the mistake I'm making. I'm getting too excited. Let's open that up. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we can make the portal up. And it really is happy days. I guess I'll keep exploring this. I should be getting the mushrooms ready while I'm in here. But I'm not. Don't know why. Should I beat the third boss before looking for Haldor? Um, I don't think Haldor's going to give you anything that helps you with the third boss, so you just as well. Um, and plus, Haldor can be really difficult to find. Like, some people have said they've been playing for, like, weeks and not found him. So you might be waiting a long time. Uh, so, yeah. So I would say just go for the boss, man. Here's some pretty banging stuff. 
He does have some good stuff, um, but nothing that helps you with boss fights, right? I don't think. I can't remember all what he has. It was a fishing rod, fishing bait, Christmas hat, um, the weight belt, the Megan Jeweled, whatever. The, the word I can't say, basically. And uh, and the flashlight on your head, the miner's lamp or whatever, right? That, that's like what he has. So I mean, it's not bad stuff at all, but it's, it's just not going to help you with the boss, right? Okay, game plan here. Uh, how much wood have I got on me? I'm actually going to I'm gonna go back to the boat and I'm going to sail home. That's the game plan. And then we're going to come back and set up a base here, potentially. No, we're not. We're going to set up a base for the Elder. That's what we'll do. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Alright, well this was a very fruitful trip. Um... Although, do I want to come back for Haldor? That's the only thing. Again, I don't think I need him yet. Let's let's defeat the Elder first. And then we'll come back for him at a later date. Oh, I can't pick stuff up. Alright. Back to the boat. Get to the boat. That was terrible. That was, that was meant to be like, get to the Chapa, But with a boat. <laughs> and the fact I had to explain that just proves how bad it was. Let's move on. Don't tell anyone that happened, guys. Keep it between us. Alright. Give me our oh, little secret. They give us other way to catch fish. Um, as they are used for food. Good food. The trader is valuable. Yeah, I think... Um, the, the fact that you have to get to the trader to make a fishing rod is like a really interesting choice. I don't know why they did that. But there we go. Yeah, I was going to do that, but then it was night time, and I got scared. Um, plus, because I, I also I don't have enough wood on me, so I'd have to chop down loads of trees. And so I'm just going to do this a bit of a long long way around. All 73 of you, indeed. You, I hope for you're all good at keeping a secret. Maybe I should make that a channel points thing, like a really expensive one. Kaizen tells a secret. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Don't even know why I said that, because that actually is... That doesn't sound like a fun time for me. Uh, oh, we could save a space here. Could have been picking things up. Never mind. Frostner needs the Ymir flesh, indeed. It's night and raining, so I shouldn't go to the ocean. It's a short trip. It's only across there. Um, if, oh, if a thingy comes, I'll take him. It's his lookout. He gone die. I got this man. This is gonna be on one of those compilations of like when a streamer gets cocky and there's instant karma if I die. Nobody clip it if I die. Alright, let's zoom in on the map. So I wanna know exactly where I'm going to follow where I went before. Okay, so the wind is behind us going this way, which is good. Wish me luck. We're a Viking. We're not allowed to be scared. Okay. More scared of the Black Forest than whatever we might meet here. The wind is in our favor, so that's good. Land is just there. Ez Pez. <laughs> we good. We so good. I can go for a pee right now. That's how good we are. Imagine dying when you're so... I'm not going to die. What are you talking about? If I die, I have to quit the world. And I'll do that when I'm ready. And I'm not ready yet. You know? I got this, guys. Don't you worry. You're in good hands. You're with a professional. <laughs> Can the serpent spawn in any open water or just... I think just ocean. Yeah, just ocean biomes. Well, actually, there's a point. Did we even go into the ocean? Does that count as ocean or not? I'm not even sure if it does. Probably. Meh. Great Dwarf coming out here to get us. Haley, shush, okay? Don't embarrass me in front of the new people. They don't know yet. Okay, let them figure it out for themselves. <laughs> Alright, let's mark where my boat is. And 
Let's kill these guys, because otherwise they'll kill my boat. There's another one right in the water yet, yeah, hey dude. And let's head home for a nice little snooze. A bunch of decoy rafts, I like it. I like the thinking. That rock there looked like the Grim Reaper thing for a second. Although it's night time, so right now he's probably the Grim Sleeper. <laughs> oh yeah, homemade dad jokes for the win. Even worse than the ones that have been written by actual joke writers. Alright, we're almost home. All good. Good times. A free dad joke, indeed. Oh, you'll get plenty of free dad jokes, don't you worry about that. You thought those channel points for dad jokes were for you. They're, they're, they're for me. That's so I could tell them. Oh, here we go. We got a, we got a, we had a free dad joke. Now we're getting a, um, a purchase dad joke. What is on fire over here? Oh, it's my cauldron. All right, when I go to bed, I'll have a look for the dad joke. You know why the man took a pencil to bed? So he could draw the curtains in the morning? You know why he took a ruler to bed? To see how long he slept? Oh yeah, two free dad jokes there, and we have this isn't even the dad joke redemption, not even the joke redemption. All right, let's have a look here. Let's do uh, let's randomize this. <laughs> this actually made me laugh, and now I'm embarrassed that it made me laugh. What do you call a pencil without lead? Pointless. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. It just did. It's a stupid one. I'm dear lord now. Just call me Ikta. Call me Ikta for sure. Um, Alright, where are we going here? Let's see. Wood, first of all, would be good to put away. Um, and then... Alright, so I want to keep you on me. All this can go in here for a second. We might be getting some of that back out. There's the bones. The trophies need to go in the car. Um, actually, the arrows we'll get rid of as well. Let's put them in the... Uh, oh, that's already filled. Uh, for now, then, you can go... Oh, whatever. Just there. Blueberries need to go in here. Okay, good. The more layers to do it, the better. Just like ogres. Absolutely. Ah, oh, ogres have layers. You know, not everybody like onions. I love that movie so much. Oh, I want to watch it now. I might watch Shrek tonight. <laughs> I might do that. I always like to listen to something when I go to sleep. Shrek is is in with a shout for this evening's entertainment. Gotta do it. Oh my god, bears would be awesome. I hope they do. I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. I now want bears in this game a lot. And you can have bear rugs. And bear, like, I don't know, hide or something. I don't know. We have a teddy bear's picnic. What am I doing in here? Why did I... Oh, that's right. To repair stuff. Okay. Okay, so we could do the Haldor thing. But I think we'll do that later. I think we just want to head now to try and get to that island with the Elder. And set up a base there. So we'll take some wood. And we've got the certain cores. To make a portal... Let's make one portal now. Um, actually, what we should do as well... Let's, let's grab my wood. Let's put like the doors and stuff back on here. Um, just so it's a bit more protected from Grey so they can't destroy the portal. Right, um, I can go there. Then got one up there. Bit of this as well. There we go, Bosh. Ali Dunwu, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. A dear Lord Parakai. <laughs> oh my goodness, go for it. Uh, why not? Why not? Indeed. All right, twenty fine and uh, ten grey dwarf eyes. So, twenty of you in total. 40 fine wood in total. Uh, which is... We have 7. Okay, let's go get some fine wood. Which is from... Birch trees? Right. I think. So they're just over here. We'll find out soon enough. Eat some foodage. 
Uh, we'll kill the boar as well. Cause they're just boring me now. You know where a boar's favorite place to go on holiday is? Tuscany? Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! So good, I love him. Yes, I've heard of the Muffin Man, who lives on Drury Lake. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Bora Bora is a better one. I should have said my favorite place to go in Italy. I realized after. Come back to me. I can do better. Your favorite scene? My goodness. I'm trying to think. There's so many great moments in Shrek. Like, I don't know what my favorite bit would be. Uh, but I do love him. He's so funny. His little voice. The Muffin Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Agree. This is the best community ever. It's, uh, we have some awesome people in here, for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so we're getting more fine wood, so I was right, it is these trees. I always get them mixed up with cool wood. Uh, Emperor's New Groove as well. Oh, what a movie. <laughs> what a fantastic movie. I love it so, it's just so sarcastic. You guys have seen that, right? You know, I'm kind of new to this whole rescuing thing, but this, to me, is kind of be considered a step back. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh so much. So many little bits in it that just, like, just really get me. The bit where he's, like, climbing up the hill with him. It's like, it's a good job you're not a big fat guy. <laughs> this would be really difficult. Oh, he's so sarcastic. I love it. All right. Um, we've got enough of that stuff now as well. What else do we need here? Just the workbench. Great or fires. Yeah, we're good. We can make the portals. Let's do it. <laughs> Wrong lever. So good. And how would you describe her? Mm, scary beyond all reason. <laughs> oh my god. We need we did a Disney night as a community where we just all sit down. Disney and popcorn night needs to happen. Oh, hydrate. There we go. Thank you, support main. Hydration for you, sir. Um um, 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 I'm gonna fight them all. Bum, bum, bum. Great band. Uh, so we'll call this, um, Elder. Yeah. Yes, Eugene. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I don't want my leather scraps anymore. Where was I putting this? There we go. And we don't resin or trophies or food. So food. Uh, trophies. Can I get three out of three for the resin? No. No! Where is it? Oh, it's in with the bones, that's why. I actually did get it then the first time. Um, not that this matters, it just matters to me for some reason. Alright, let's go do the portal. So we go sail, do the portal, which we need all this stuff. Oh, we don't need all that wood. Do we? Yes, we do. Uh, should I take more? Probably. I can get someone on there, it'll be fine. Alright, roller coaster, I know, it's over. Kronk is life. <laughs> I've never seen the spin-off, Kronk's New Groove. I don't know if that's any good or not. The Emperor's New Groove, fantastic, but, uh, yeah, not sure about that. Live stream of you watching some Disney. <laughs> or something else, watching you, that would be nice. I don't know, I, I'd be quite boring, I'd just be sat there eating popcorn. Oh, that edit. Hello, hydrate for you. Welcome along to the stream, buddy. Should really ask you that edit. Do you like to be called that edit, or do you have a name that you prefer? Some people like to just be called by the Twitch names. Other people don't. Let me know. <laughs> the spinach puffs. Yeah, and he's like so worried about the food. And he's like, what is it, the whole thing about like, they're having the, the meal, but he's, he's supposed to go and kill the emperor. And he's like, can't we just have a bit of food first? I don't know. That scene, whatever. Um, okay, where am I? There's my boat. So, that was a little trip. This is where we got to get to. I've This is a really far away Elder Boss. Um, do we have, I don't think we have a workbench here, but it's actually not um, 
two damage as it happens, as it goes. Alright, so... Let's see. Let's get in the right kind of air. Oh, there's a deer. I thought for a second it might be a serpent. So roughly this way, I'm I'm sailing the boat like I'm drunk at the moment. Let's see, let's get straightened up here. And yeah, just kind of head in this general direction. Extract of lamb. <laughs> so I, when I was a kid, I was um, off school one day because I was sick, you know. I was, I was unwell, guys. I couldn't possibly go to school. As much as I wanted to be there, I just couldn't go in. And uh, I watched The Emperor's New Groove back to back six times. This was on video. This was in the days of video. I watched it six times back to back. I don't. I was obsessed with it that day. I don't know what happened there. It is a great movie, but six is a lot. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of overkill. Oh, dad joke time. All right, hang on. Before I do this, I gotta click off briefly. All right, dad joke. Dad jokes are gonna kill me in this series. Why did the tomato blush? Because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> I'll give you another one as well, a bonus one for free. Uh, why did the fish throw up? Because of the seaweed. <laughs> oh yeah. What is this imbo? Imbo? Imbol? Is it? No, imbo. Was it? Is it LMBO? Laugh my bum off. <laughs> I'm so down with the kids these days. LMBO. It is LMBO. Laugh my bum off, right? Is that what this is? It's just like a, a, a nicer way of LMAO. Is that the, that's that's what I'm missing here? All right, I'm good. You guys are keeping me cool, <laughs> keeping me down with all this modern lingo. Oh, what, here's here's a question for you. I was in um, Canada, and I was in a uh, I was in a queue in, in a store buying some jeans or something. This was like a year ago. And uh, these people, like they, there was kids, and they were talking, and it was also like they were talking a foreign language. I had no idea what they were on about. But one thing they kept saying was about chefing, like, "Are you going to chef him, or or she's chefing you, or something?" Like that. What the heck does that mean? Does anybody know? What is that like? I I'm so lost. I have no clue like what this was. Um, yeah. If anyone knows, let me know. Um. No, it wasn't Sheffield, no. Um, I don't know. It was like... It was a really weird thing. Yeah, it could be a Canadian thing. I don't know. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, 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 I'm not as out of touch as I thought, perhaps. Stab someone. What? Really? That can't be right. Why would they be talking about that at the department store? Maybe I was lucky. I got away. Jeez. Things, things are going down. Shiving. Really? Who were, who were these kids? <laughs> they were like kids, like teenagers. What should I have for breakfast? You should have... I'm, I'm a big fan of cereal at the moment, so I'm going to go with cereal. If you have cereal in your house. Cereal's pretty good. Um, bit of cereal. No, yeah, that's, that's got to be good. Something that goes in a toaster. Bagel. My fave cereal is. Um, we were talking about this last year, actually. I'll say, like, I have two. Like, my... underscore has purchased Ooh. one pack. Ooh, somebody's purchased a Street Boots pack. That edit, I think, right? I think it... Did it come off the screen? Yeah, there we go. That edit has purchased one pack. Here we go. Things could be happening now. Um, yeah, so my fave cereal, like, as an adult that I can eat would be, like, Sultana Brand. I really like that. When I was younger. And if I was having, like, a cheeky cereal. Probably uh, the Cocoa Pops checks. They're really good. Or Shreddies or Frosties. They're also good. But yeah, Santa Brand's not bad. I actually really like it, so it's pretty good. Um, technically, put cereal in a toaster. Yeah, I, I would recommend that. We did. We did do this conversation yesterday. But um, I was asked again by Sad Mo. Sad Mo, you missed out yesterday, I assume. Oh, so Haldor's quite... He's near the coast, that Haldor, on this one. Look, he's just over there. Very cool. Hmm. If I get the opportunity, should I go after the Abyssal 
Harpoon. No, I can't do it. I haven't got my pick on me. Uh, Voxfera, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. And the channel. <laughs> my favorite microwave dinners. Oh boy. Oh boy. Am I... I'm the Gordon Ramsay of microwave dinners, guys. I'll have you know. Let's see. Let's... We, we, we are not really heading the right direction here. I was trying to stay near the land. But sooner or later, we need to be a bit brave. Um, Enzex, thank you for the... Oh! Was that a serpent? No, it's a rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything that sticks out of the water looks... Serpentish. Serpentine. Snake-like, if you will. Been checking out all your YouTube videos. Super stoked to catch the live stream. Well, we're super stoked to have you here, Voxero. Thank you. Thank you for coming over from the YouTubes. And, uh, glad you've been enjoying, enjoying those. Elder fight coming up. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. We're going to get over there soon. Again, hopefully we will, at least. And, uh, see about setting that up. The Elder's not too difficult, really. Um, Smethix. 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 Thank you for the follow. Two. Welcome along to the stream. Um, I'm actually getting a little bit worried now. This is like really big open ocean. There's a storm in here. Yeah, I'm not super happy about this. I really don't want to bump into a serpent. So... Yeah, I can't see land. That's what I don't like right now. I'm gonna need a bit of luck. I mean, we're doing hardcore. There's always going to be a bit of luck required, right? Let's keep the wind behind us. Keep moving at full speed. And hope for the best. Um, we shall see. Kill the Elder with just my fists. I think I'd last about three seconds in that fight. Okay. Woo! We're on the open ocean now. Big waves. Um, yes, with hardcore, if I die, that's it. I delete the world. I stop playing. And, um, yeah, that's that, basically. So it's like, can I complete the game without dying? The answer to that is no. <laughs> but I can make good content of it in the meantime, hopefully. And we can have some fun streams and stuff like that. <laughs> See how we go. Um... Alright, the sea has calmed a little. I would love to see some land right now. Unless it's a plains. In which case, I can get on an old plane. Oh, something happened. Bicycle bell. What? Why don't I see anything? Ah, do a random question. Okay. Should really get some TTS for that one. Alright, we're near land. Very happy. Um, let's do a random question. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. What do your clothes say about you? They say, I am Kaizen. The streamer. <laughs> um, do you know what's funny? I actually, um, when I first started with this merch stuff, I bought one just to see what they were like and stuff. The best t-shirt ever. Like, because I like to wear long baggy t-shirts. I always have, like, since I was like 12. And, um, because I'm quite tall, like, it's so hard to find them that they where well, they've got the length, you know. But these ones actually do, so uh, I was very happy about that. And so now I um, I bought a load of them, and I have about I've got seven actually guys in t-shirts like this. So I literally have one for each day of the week, and I wash them and go again. So I just wear them, and it makes my life so easy as well. I get up in the morning, I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear. I know what I'm going to wear. It just goes on, bush done. So yeah, that's what I wear, and I wear it everywhere. I wear it if I go out and stuff. Um, just wear it everywhere. Just represent the Kaizen. What? No, why am I in planes? Where the heck's the planes? Alright, get away. Because Death Skeetos can fly out and get you. Alright, we need to be smart about this. Oh my god. Alright. Maybe panicking a little bit too much there. I was only just in the planes, but still. We do need to be smart, because if they fly out to us, that's it. It's game over, pretty much. I think that was the planes. Yeah, that's the planes there behind us, for sure. Still says we're in planes. Come on, man. Get me out of the planes. That looks like Swamp over there. So it's turning nighttime now as well. Alright, I'm not liking this. Maybe we get onto the meadows that was back there. Portal home, sleep, come back, break the portal. Could be could be a way of going for it. 
Uh, eat, eat, eat. I will eat, okay. You got your cereal. What cereal did you get? Alright, now we're in ocean again. Looks like we're coming up to... Is that another plains? Alright, now this is getting a bit scary. Yeah, the scraggly trees are swamp. I don't want to be in a swamp at night, because those wraith things are not good either. That could kill us too. Jeez. I mean, the elder's in a black forest, so there's got to be a black forest not too far from here. You can see on the map. But at the same time, it's, well, it's still a distance. That's all swamp there, by the looks of it. Is that planes next to it? Alright. Nah, I'm not doing this. i got to be smarter than this for hardcore. Um... I need to get back to where we were before, which I think was kind of this way. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? I need to get back to those meadows we saw. Oh, but this is so slow now. All right, now, now I'm pretty scared. Because if a serpent comes along now, this is not good. <laughs> Was that it over there? That looks like trees. That's, that's not swamp trees. Oh, is that the plains though? Hang on. I think it might be. We need to head away from that. Oh, I've got... I'm, I'm kind of lost now. Dang. Alright. If we're heading that way, that's the wrong way, I think. Let's get... Let's go this way. So, that's where we come... Wait, there's meadows there. Oh, we need to head for that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's like this way. Right? <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright. Yeah, head this way. We'll hit the meadows. Alright. <sighs> yeah, anyone who's like not understanding the hardcore will be like, why is he so worried about this? But we're trying to, you know, keep this going. Um yeah, so if I if I die, the whole world gets deleted and I'm done and that's that. Um So that's why I'm a bit like on edge here. Hoping to not die and playing a lot more timid than what I normally would. If I see a serpent now, I'm going to try to hit the land and outrun it. If I can't, I'll have to fight it and try to beat it, which isn't impossible. I've got my bow at level 3. It's only a fine wood, but still. Um, I've got arrows on me, like plenty of them. So, yeah, we, we shall see. But hopefully we don't have to worry about that. What? Plains again? Hold on. That's meadows there. Let's not get too close to the plains. Sugar. Okay. Just because if a death skeeto flies out, we're in so much trouble. I just need to get up here and around to there. Oh my god, okay. Proper scary, I'll tell you. Meadows beside the plains because the monsters cross over. Indeed, yeah, I do need to be careful about that. I just want to get to the meadows area on the edge here and head straight home. We're currently, it still says we're in plains. Don't like this at all. All right, I can see land. Which is good. Meadows. That's what I like. Alright, we're now in the meadows biome. That's something at least. We're heading the right way. Thank you, um, Inking Imp. Is that? I um, can't keep my skills over 30 because I died of stupid stuff. <laughs> hey, I hear you. I died to trees so many times in this game, so I get it. I really do. Alright, we have to rethink the strategy a little bit. Chair stream coming up, by the way, guys. I gotta pee. <laughs> also thought I would be fine in meadows and found a dragon village and you were done for um, will I cheese the bosses we're still sort of talking about this um, I didn't cheese Ikthar and I'm not going to cheese the elder and with bone mass I think I'll definitely give myself an escape strategy so it just depends if you count that there was the two hydrates, by the way, guys. I did do them both, just, just so we're clear. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, I don't know. Does an escape strategy count as cheesing him? Or is that okay? All right. Can't 
Come on, man. Um, so I just want to get home as quickly as possible. If worse comes worse, they take my portal down. Like, it's not ideal at all, but it could be worse as well. Um, so let's shut the. Oh no, wait. This isn't the door. We need to go into our, our house here. Our gorgeous house. Um, oh, we got to stoke the fire. We didn't start the fire. There is a there is a fire nearby. Why does it always do this to me? Thank you. Whew, all right. All right. So uh, I'll wait till it gets morning, and then you guys can have a chair stream for a brief moment while I go and uh, take care of business, as it were. Maybe it's just me then, Wiggly, because I found bone mass really tough. <laughs> I've never, like, PvP or, like, just combat in general is never one of my strong points with gaming. I'm more of a builder, creative guy, whatever. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to log out here. i got to log out because i got to be safe while I'm gone. And I'll put the BRB on as well. And uh, run the ad break. You know, do all the business. I'll be back in just a sec, guys. Alrighty, back and ready to do this. The real excitement. Hey chair, what's your favorite color red? Well, yeah, as I say, you guys are getting a new chair soon. Um, because I, uh, I got a new one on the way. Thank you to last night's uh, stream for the suggestions. Chair of Wonders. Oh, we got an Ask Me Anything. What does Vegemite taste like? Uh, well, uh, it's nice in my opinion. I like it. It's like Marmite. Um, it's thicker than Marmite, though, if you've ever had Marmite. Have you had Marmite? If not, it's going to be quite hard to just describe the taste. It's quite a unique thing. I recommend you try it. It's really good on toast. Most people have it with butter. I don't really eat butter, so I have it just like on dry toast. But if you're trying it out and you're a butter person, you should probably you know have butter with it. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's nice, it's good. It's like a very savory sort of taste, quite a strong taste. Certainly not for everyone. I mean, Marmite's logo was always, uh, you either love it or you hate it. And as I say, Vegemite is like Marmite, but a bit um, a bit thicker. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, so this is where we got to, right? And then I think there's a plains around here, then swamps here. So I think we're going to have to bite the bullet and go into the swamp potentially, and then through the swamp. Although, hang on, let's get the map back. I'm trying to think of a good plan of action here. May we sail like this way? See if we can go around it. I mean, that is going to be Black Forest. We got pretty unlucky of our Elder Boss location, I would say. It's really far away. So the swamps and plains and stuff are going to be here, which is not overly helpful. All right, we'll have to figure this out. Let's go back through. Um, does anything need repairing? Probably no. We're okay. All right, let's just do it. Just checking while I'm here. Had the same chromie chair for six years and your kids have destroyed it. But gamers make do. Indeed, yeah, I, I decided to get a new one. I could justify it because the amount of time I spend in my chair each day. I was like, you know, yeah, got to be done. Um, 
and I'm super excited to have a new one on the way, but um, yeah, I've had this one for a little while, and the one I had before I had for like even longer. This one's just not working out. It's not it's not a good chair to be honest. Like um, again, like being tall, there's so much in life that like you know, so many things in life are made for the average person, right? Whoever he is or she is, but yeah, when you're like me and you're tall, it's like it's, it's not good. Building your own custom chair, just like that would be awesome. Wow. I like that idea. You've got custom desk as well. That's very cool. Have you seen um, Dead Mouse gets five custom computers made up? That's so sick. Like the artwork to them and stuff is awesome. Obviously, like the specs are insane because the guy's like, you know, a millionaire and stuff. I love that dude. He's, he's so awesome. Seems like a really, he'd be like a really fun guy to hang out with. Plus, I love his music. So we're gonna head across like we did before. Uh, we're gonna go more direct this way though to avoid, because the planes, look at that, it's literally right there. We don't want this. We don't want any of this. This is not good. We're going this way. Nice calm day so far though, which is good. Hopefully no s giant snake-like things out here. And then we'll be, then we'll be good. Great merchant, yeah, indeed. Very lucky to have a merchant so early in the game as well. Just not so good with the old, uh, what do you call it? Elder boss location, but that's okay. So when we get close to time, we need to activate our Ikthor as well. That's just become available. Um, so we can't. We we sort of need to sail around this uh, thing. Let's wait. We need to go more this way. And now, yeah, because I'm going to the blooming plains again. Yeah, we need to go around this way to try and avoid the plains. I think plains is over there, so we we'll go this way and hopefully avoid that. I am tempted not to play Valheim anymore because I have 69 hours played. I hear you. I'm on about 225, I think. 225 hours right now. Obviously, making content, you end up spending more time on there doing stuff because of that. But, um, yeah, if you've got stuff to do... Okay, there's planes on the right-hand side as well. Oh, my God. This sucks. Um, all right, we're going to have to try and go through it, though. I don't see what else we can do. If I stay close to this swamp biome, hopefully there's no deaf skeeter who's going to come out at us. I feel like I might die this stream. I hope I don't, but uh, yeah, we shall see. Sw the new biome is a scary thing <laughs> when you hear it through the headphones and stuff as well. Sounds like something crazy. What's that? That's just leeches, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, that's just the small planes over there. Having the wind behind us right now would have been very nice. Hey, is that is that Pooley? Pooley, is that how I'm saying that? Thank you for the follow. Snake in the water. Yeah, it was just a leech, but uh, I, for a second I thought it might be a serpent. Right, so I, I do need to start heading that way. Looks like the planes is back there, so I think we can actually start heading this way now try and get ourselves towards the elder and we can get the wind behind us now which is good as well haven't gone to swamp yet well uh i recommend you you do prepare for it um when you're new to the game especially it can be a bit tricky um shameless plug but i do have a guide on my channel about exploring swamps for the first time oh thank you that edit you know if you're interested if you do want to check that out but either way i do recommend re uh, researching it a bit if you want to support your content in general, is Patreon or Twitch better? I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, Patreon's probably better um, all round because like you'll also get rewards and stuff on there um, if you're interested in them. But if you want the Twitch emotes, if that's your preference, then go for it. Like, you know, whatever you guys want to do is is completely fine and very appreciated. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, do both. <laughs> Why choose? No one's making you choose. No, uh, you're, yeah, you're welcome to do whatever you want to do more. Like, everything obviously helps me out. Um, but I think at the moment, yeah, Patreon probably takes, like, less of a cut than Twitch. Um, maybe I can make Twitch partner, though. Then that will change. That'd be... Because they do a lower percentage, I think, at that point. Okay, I am hating this mist right now. 
I, ca I have no visibility. Right, that's a swamp right there. But, like, that could have been a plains, or there could be a sea serpent, like, 50 feet in front of me, and I wouldn't know. <sighs> Don't like this. And now I'm not even really going the right way, but I need to just be careful about this. We just have to keep it slow and steady. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. We're not even really going the right way, but there's a swamp right there, so I have to set around it. Hmm. Oh, Wiggly, that's completely fine. Like, there's absolutely no expectation or pressure. Like, honestly, the last thing I'd want is for anyone's donations to me to cause them any kind of issues. Like, you know, um, so it's, you know, if people go the extra mile and stuff, obviously it's very appreciated, but, like, it's, it's by no means expected at all. Like, and by being here and by watching me and stuff, that is supporting me. Oh, shoot, planes. Okay. Where are those planes then? That's swamp right there. Let's sail through that way. I don't know where these planes are. This is what I don't like when it says it and I can't see it. Because I'm like, well, I don't even know which direction I should be heading in. Uh, hello, Matho. Matto. Matostrix. I don't know. I, Matt. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. My first crit was actually not far from a black forest base. That's pretty good. Yeah. Like that. Um, okay. Is that planes just behind that? Okie dokie. I just... I can't go through planes, guys. Because I'm going to die, like, probably three out of four times if I went through them. I would die. Like I would say, at this stage of the game, with what I've got. Yeah, I haven't even completed the Elder yet. So... That's... Planes through there, I believe. Thank you for the follow, JD Twitch. Appreciate that. No Ravenheim today. Ravenheim will be back on Thursday. So, in uh, 48 hours from the start of this stream is when we'll be doing that. Oh, what is happening? Alright, this is ocean. At least we're not in planes anymore, but then we could come up to them. This is, this is very tricky. Yeah, I've, I've got a little bit unlucky with the Elder location. Um, I think you could say that. But once I get a portal set up there, it's fine. Because it's just Black Forest to Black Forest. It's just getting there. Uh, when I hit 50k on YouTube, uh, I'll be doing some giveaways and stuff like that. Both on YouTube and here on Twitch. Um, I'm also I'm taking my uh, going to take my family out. My parents and my brother for a, uh, a dinner to celebrate. Um, and I'm going to go out with my, my, my friends and stuff as well for a bit of a party night out. So yeah, I've got some plans. Okay, is that meadows through there? Beyond the swamp, it could be meadows. Which would be great. Because then we could pull home and sleep. Because I think it's turned night time again. And we just have to do this a bit piecemeal. I don't want to be in the swamp at night time. But I do kind of need to go home. There's a little house there, look. We could, we could get into that house... Teleport home. I think that's going to be good. Imagine where we can go party. Yeah, true. I mean, we're lucky here in Perth. Everything's back to normal, so we're able to go out and stuff. It's, uh, yeah. So, I, see, I, I forget how lucky we are. Like, you guys are like, what? You can go out? Like, yeah. Everything's open. All the nightclubs, bars, restaurants, you name it. It's all open. There's events on at the stadiums here with thousands of people going. Uh, in fact, on Sunday, I'm off to watch Example, who is uh, an English music guy some of you might know him. wait it's not even night time oh it was just it was just dark it's not night time yeah do, do any of you guys know example it's a pretty awesome english uh, guy who yeah does his music and stuff actually while i'm here i should just loot this if there's anything here there is a chest just so i'll take it um and so yeah that's like yeah there'll be uh, like thousands of people there and stuff so we're very lucky Yeah, I know. I, I, I didn't know that either, actually, Wiggly, especially all the way down here in Australia. Someone said he lives in Australia, but I, I don't know if that's true or not. Just, like, something that one of my guy mates said. So, probably not true, because they normally don't know what they're on about. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, either way, it's, it's pretty sick Edit to see underscore has purchased one pack. Oh, another pack. Another Stream Loots pack was bought. Um, what happened here? Oh, and there's an Ask Me Anything. 
Can you play any instruments not including... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I got distracted. Okay. Don't go Titanic on me now. Oh no, am I, am I sure? I, I will come to your question. Um, D, was it? Yeah. Uh, just, <laughs> what happened here? What a nub. All right, come on. Out you go. I'm sailing down quite a thin river. Oh, imagine if I get this boat completely stuck here. Oh, now I'm sinking. So I've got to wait for this. Get my stamina back. Come on, dude. Up you go. There we go. All right. No. Really? There's nothing flat on here? Do I have? I don't have. All right. Let's let's just try this. All right. We're back in. There we go. Can I get out of here? Oh, my God. So funny. Suez Canal remake. Comment of the day so far. I like, I love that. <laughs> Okay, um, what do you mean not including mayonnaise? What is that? I don't understand. But yes, I can. I can play piano slash keyboard. Um, you know, it's, like, it's essentially the same thing, but obviously on the keyboard you can electronically change it to different instruments to get different sounds and whatever. Um, in fact, on my Instagram, I believe I have posted a couple videos of me playing the piano if you scroll down a bit. Um, but yeah, so I play piano. I'm actually going to have a piano in my apartment again soon, which would be great. We're going to get that sorted out. Um, no, I don't know what that's from. Should I know? Is this another reference that I don't know? Uh, I am I am working on making a public server, by the way, guys. Um, it will be coming soon. So, um, so yeah, that, that will be happening. Um, if you guys want information on that, join my Discord. That's where I'll be posting stuff about that. But, yeah, it's definitely happening. It's SpongeBob. I do like SpongeBob, and I've seen SpongeBob, but... Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. There's a leech there. He's 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 good. He's not gonna, he's not coming for us. We're, we're good. But thank you. Yeah, I don't have a single death yet. Well, I haven't done that much. I haven't even killed the elder yet, so it's not it's not that difficult. But um, yeah. All right, we're on our way again, guys. The epic journey to the elder. My goodness. Hopefully, we can find him. SpongeBob's Patrick asked, "Is mayonnaise an instrument?" Someone really needs to make a canal meme. Indeed, yeah, you can clip that. Suez Canal in Valheim. Oh my God, we have to do this now. I have to do that for a sh like a short. It's just too good not to. I actually want this honey. I'm all about that honey. Um, so let's just quickly um, little drive by shooting, LA style. Come on, how am I missing? Blooming thing. Am I, what is happening right now? Thank you. Man. That was a uh, pretty good drive by shooting, but uh, you know, no biggie. Huh, huh, kinda, maybe? Too soon, I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh, missed the boat. Imagine dying to bees, oh, that can't happen. I'd never live that down in the, uh, in the in the Ravenheim world. Hello, Avery. Thank you for the follow, and uh, and, and thank you, Po Bob, for calling me a noob. <laughs> I, if I can't argue with it, then you know what can I say? Berries do regrow. I think raspberries regrow after two hundred and forty minutes. Is it off the top of my head? I think it's that. How many times can he miss a beehive five feet away? Ah, uh, well, you know, I was, um, yeah, I'm not, not the best shot, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, uh, what's happening now? Wins against us again. Uh, hey, it's you, I watch your vids for tips. Oh, hey, Charleston Twitchin. Um, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming along to... Uh, to Twitch as well. Appreciate that. Oh, and thank you for following as well. Um, yeah, so I, I, I've got a stream schedule up and running now. So we've got two guaranteed streams a week and there'll probably be one um, hardcore as well for us each week as long as this is running. Um, it's good. I, I Honestly, right now, I'm so like addicted to the Ravenheim stuff that uh, I wanted to keep doing that. But at the same time, I'm like, well, no, my hardcore series as well 
I got I got to I got to do this properly. <laughs> it's the, all part of taking the um you know, taking content creation a bit more seriously, right? Being a bit more professional. All right, we're off again. Is that another plane down there? Potentially, probably. No my luck with this this blooming journey. What's my craziest death? Um I've died to trees falling on me plenty of times. Oh, the stupidest one is probably just falling off of a blooming building while I'm trying to like build the roof. So I've died like several times from that. Um, I fell out of Chongish's treehouse and died <laughs> on the Ravenheim server. So yeah, that was that was a bit treacherous. Um, okay, that looks like it could be planes to me. And I ain't getting on a plane. Um, yeah, so those are probably my craziest deaths. But I've died in all sorts of weird and wacky ways on my YouTube world. 92 people watching. Awesome. My goodness. If we uh, if we crack 100 again tonight, twice in a row, two nights in a row for the records, that'd be crazy. Uh, I am this far away from the Elder right now. And I'm just having to go in weird directions because there's planes in the way all the time. Wanna Kayozuki? I feel like I had a really good stab at that for a first attempt. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um... I appreciate that. For ages, I didn't know you had to sit on the bench on a boat. I was just sitting, using X and getting yeeted into the sea. <laughs> oh my god. I was pretty bad with rafts when I first did it. Like, I went in a giant circle and ended up back where I was. I actually did that on a live stream, embarrassingly enough. Um, but, uh, yes, and, and I didn't understand sailing and stuff. I was like, right, i got to figure this out. But that is hilarious, uh, Wiggly. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the elder. I'm going to be an elder the time I get here. This has been ridiculous. What a journey. Look at it. Look at this. We couldn't go as the crow flies either. Or as the raven flies, maybe. Huh? Maybe we say that. A sailing tutorial vid. My friend, I've beaten you to it. There is one on my channel already. Uh, I, I did one. And I also did a uh, How to Solo the Sea Serpent guide as well. So I got you covered through the ocean. Um, yeah. Elder Flight coming up indeed, yes. You don't know why you're so hyped. Because you want to see me die, because you're evil. And it'd be kind of funny. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Um, out of nowhere, a thousand bits from Charles and Twitchin. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous of you. Incredibly kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I really do appreciate the support guys. You guys have been awesome to me and it, it really means a lot Just a reminder on the bits thing you can do stream loots um, You can check out my panels below or do exclamation mark loots where you get like rewards for your bits and stuff as well Just throwing that out there, but um Such an awesome donation um, Charleston. Thank you so so much um, Incredibly incredibly kind of you uh, So there's a swamp by I'm here. I'm trying to go around there. I want to go yeah, I think that's a black forest we can get to there. That'll be safer to try and teleport home from. Sleep, because now it is definitely getting night time. What am I doing? Right, come on. Um, thank you, Haley, for that. Um, Leviathans will respawn. You'll find more of them. Yep, not like once they've gone into the sea, don't worry. You'll, you'll still be able to find more in the future. So that's all good. Such a weird map, Jen, on this world, I swear. Um... Um, do you have a mod or just a challenge if you die? Yeah, it's just there's no mod. It's just me like I'm doing it all on stream So if I die, it'll be seen and I'll delete it on stream or whatever um, Or just I just won't be playing on here again, you know, whatever. I don't necessarily need to delete it Yeah, these are black forest trees indeed. So yeah, we're gonna head on to here for sure That's pretty cool to levy up Leviathan's right next to each other. I don't think I've ever seen. Oh my god, the mist is real. Okay, this is... I'm squinting. Why am I squinting? That's not gonna... That's, that's a real life thing. Valheim's realistic. It's not that realistic. Imagine that. Um, okay, I think we're about to crash into a black forest biome. Planes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? Planes? That's a planes? Really? 
Oh, now it's just Black Forest. What is happening? I'm so scared. I've got, it's pitch black. I thought this was Black Forest. Now it said plays again. Oh my god. If a Death Skeeter comes out of this mist and kills me. I've got to get to land. I've got to get home. I've got to risk this. I think this is Black Forest. I know it's saying planes. But I don't know why. Sometimes they can be... Right there, Black Forest. Whew, this is not... I know. I've not been the luckiest in this, this attempt to get here. That's for sure. But... Okay, we're coming up to the shore, I think, but I'm not sure. Um, Alright. That was scary, because I, I knew I was close to shore, and then it said suddenly just said planes. I was like, come on, dude. You are joking me right now. Okay, okay, okay. Really? There's so many great offs around here, this is insane. Um, okay. Alright, I'm going quiet because I'm focusing so much, by the way, guys. So, apologies for that. I just really want to get this thing built and then... I don't want to lose the portal here, so... Oh, for goodness sake. Alright, let's eat some food here. Okay. Alright, let's get some stuff happening here. So, we need you down. Now we need you down. Come on. Work with me here. Okay, anything around here that's going to kill our portal... Looks like no, connected, and gone. Oof. All right, sorry guys, I had to focus there for a second. Hold N to squint. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be a great little, uh, little feature right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's sleep, regroup, and then see what we can do in the morning. Crazy times. Oh, my neck. All right. Getting YouTube notification spam from this guy. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What notification did you just get from me on YouTube? What did I do? I'm, I'm here. All right. So this Black Forest obviously is where the Elder's going to be. Um, let's, let's sort out some stuff here. Where we are actually is a reasonably decent place for us to make a little base in the Black Forest. So I think I'll do that uh, there. And then we can... Yeah, we can get sorted there. That's a good way of doing it. Is there a way to recover your boat's materials? Um, I think if you chop the boat up, you can get it, right? I think you get the materials back that way. If you chop it up with, like, your axe or something. Um, feathers, yep, in there. Actually, I should probably get some feathers out here. We've got some wood. We've got some resin. Let's get some more resin. Probably make a few more fire arrows to fight this boss with. Actually, all my resin's over here, I just remembered. And we should get a load of wood as well to make a bit of a base around that portal to protect it. Um, oh, yeah, let's repair everything. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Right, let's grab that and that. Is that it for resin? Okay, let's see how many more fire arrows we can make up. Oh, yeah, it's crazy that it's almost April for sure. What is crazy as well, because I've got it on my wristband here, because um, some of you guys, in fact, some of you guys have these, right? These these thingies that I, w I wear. Um, from when I hit 10K, I hit 10,000 subscribers on the 25th of April, 2020. And so it's going to be less than a year that we go from 10K to 50K, which is just bonkers. It really is. So, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get chocolate stuff away. Um, Alright, so wood, we're going to need a lot more of, uh, and we don't have it, so we'll have to chop down some of that before we go, but other than that, we're pretty good. 
that back and the resin back and then get some wood. Um, where am I going here? Where's the resin? In there. Alright. Choppy choppy tree time. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, well, we're pretty close to fighting the Elder. And uh, hopefully I don't die, but we'll see. At least then once we've killed him, we can chop down trees a lot quicker as well, which would be useful for our base progression. Which is nice. Remember um, when Stay Hydrated got spammed. Oh my god, I just got hit by a tree again. I'm going to die to a tree in this world, I swear. Uh, I do remember that. I remember it very well. I was having a conversation about it earlier because I was like, I got up like three times in the night to pee <laughs> because you guys got me overhydrated in last night's stream. Oh, here we go. Here we go. More hydration. Um, but hey, it's good for me, right? Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness. Emila, you missed me doing this crazy trip here to get to the Elder. We went through like, we got close to plains biomes and there were swamp biomes and stuff. It was crazy time. But we have a portal there now that's near enough to the Elder. So we're just getting some wood to protect that portal. And then we're going to go back and do that. And then go fight him. Fight that Elder. Whew. Yeah, so if you're being killed by a serpent, it's good to get some iron or whatever you're carrying on your person so it survives. Good, good, good tip. I like that tip. I might steal that. And then you can swim out to your grave later on, right? Uh, I like that tip a lot. Very smart. Wait, doesn't wait? Doesn't it turn into cargo in the ships though, and then they'll float anyway? It's possible to drink too much water, but it takes a lot. Yeah, it's it's like a lot, a lot though, right? It's something like um, if you drink like six liters all at once or something, like they're literally just continually drinking. That would take some do. That's four of them big things there. That I've got, so that would really take some doing. Um, I won't let it get to that stage, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, I'm all about giving you guys the uh, rewards for the channel points and stuff, but I'm not going to kill myself over it, you know. Yeah, it doesn't if if they destroy the ship, sure, it just turns into cargo boxes and they float <laughs> anyway, right? Oh, what was this? <laughs> what was that little evil laugh? That really caught me by surprise. Oh, made you look. I forgot that I had that one. Nice to see you enjoying those cards there that I edit. <laughs> oh my goodness, the stream loops cards. They're good fun. Let's go put this stuff back. Keeping your points for the Wall of Fame, that is not a problem. Suits me. Uh, I don't want to get over hydrated and die. So, you know, this is good. Uh, another hydrate. Another two hydrates, maybe. Mm. Just one, still. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of water. Yeah, that's that's not good. I won't be drinking all that, that's for sure. Alright, let's put all this in here. Alright, so got all this. Let me put these back as well. Alright, let's go. And let's just gear up, because I don't know what I'm going to meet on the other side when I go through. There could be some stuff here. Yeah, Firespark did do that video. I saw that video. Um, which was an interesting idea for sure. Alright, let's protect this area. Um, oh, did I miss on the corner? Okay, we, we can't afford to miss. Really, I don't want to leave a gap, so... Oh, come on. Work with me here. Whatever, that'll do. Thank you, Guapo. <laughs> that noob one gets used a lot. I don't know what that says about me. It says you're a noob cousin, obviously. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, let's get a gate in here as well. Okay, this is now a floating gate that people could get under. And by people, I mean Grados. 
Um, yeah, this isn't going to work. Oh, hello, dude. Actually, I don't want to use that up. I'll use this up instead. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to do better than this, basically. Um, let's put some of these underneath, maybe. Let's get like a little stairs up to there. Can we do that? There we go. Um, oh my gosh. So many radars around here. What am I? Where's my thing gone? There we go. That's what I need to hit you with. <sighs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I like Valheim? Definitely a 10 for me at the moment. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. It's um, been a fantastic game for me for so many reasons. And I've, I'm still, I'm, yeah, I'm loving playing it. So I'm, gi I'm giving that a solid 10. This is the most ridiculous little base ever. Look at it. Well, it's so stupid. Whatever. It works. It does the job. It's fit for purpose. Um, let's destroy that. And make it again, but make it in here, right? So it's safe. Yep, very good. Wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's go get the stuff we need to... Actually... Yeah, no, let's just go get the stuff we need to spawn the Elder, spawn him in and kill him. Let's just get the job done. Like a pro, right? That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, see ya, D. Always nice to see you and have you in the stream. Thank you for coming along. I'll see you in the next one. Um, don't think we need any of that stuff. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of the resin. I want the rested buff though, actually, that's the only thing. So let's go get that, then we'll go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can always run away from him. I'm not even going to worry about taking meads and stuff. I was thinking like healing meads and stamina meads. Not even going to worry about it, I don't think. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just kill him. Being cocky seems to work for me today, so let's just do it. <laughs> Go take care of him. Here's a good guide on YouTube talking about comfort levels and rested. You must be talking about my guide, and and yes, it is. It's incredibly good. <laughs> <coughs> All right, where are we off this way? Oh, I didn't get the ancient seeds. What a muppet I am. <laughs> you had one job, Kaizen. And you, and you failed. Thank you for telling me to eat. I'm repairing my stuff. Alright, let's, let's go home and try again. I did many things wrong. Oh my god. Two noobs in a row. Three noobs in a row. Actually. Four noobs in a row. <laughs> Alright, guys. I get it. Jeez. <laughs> Tough crowd. Alright, repair all this. But kind of fair as well. Repair all this. Ancient seeds. Portal. Spawn the Elder. Kill the Elder. Brag about how good I am at Valheim. Carry on with the game. That's the plan. I've got to eat one. I don't know if I can eat. I think I just did eat. I don't think I can eat anymore just now. For a boss fight, I mean, I'll be eating hopefully all the time. Yeah, I can't eat just yet, guys. Uh, I've already I've already done my eating for a minute, but we'll we'll do it again once we get the opportunity. Oh, rested buff. Let's go get the rested buff. Actually, another thing I might do is bring some materials with me to make campfires, because we can rest and also the campfire. Like you can set the elder on fire and stuff, right? I think so. Let's just do that as well. So this is, that was take two, so it's going to be three takes to get this, but we're going to do it. So let's grab um, like 15 of you, and, oh, do I even have the wood for a campfire? Alright, we'll do it without the campfires, it'll be fine. We'll just get the rest of the buff before we go. <laughs> Wait till after the rain. Yeah, if I was doing the campfires, I would have to, but now we're not, it doesn't, even, doesn't really matter, we'll be good. Alright, give me my buff. Didn't I have... Do I not have more stuff in here? For my rested? Comfort level 5? 
get that rested up a little bit. That'll give us, what, 10 minutes? Because the default's 5, or is it 12 minutes? Oh. Um, I think it might do, but if we got the rested buff... There we go, we're on 12. Let's just see. I think we're going to be alright. Like, if I come out here, I'm going to get wet straight away. But I've still got that 12 minutes of rested buff. Let's do it. Let's go fight him. Like I said, I can always run away. You can literally just run away from the elder if you need to. So, we'll, we'll be alright. I think I've marked this on the map, have I? So, yeah. So, I know where I've got to come to if I have to run. Alright, we're actually going to fight him now. Don't even care. I got the seeds. I got the seeds. We're good. I did forget them twice, but not the third time. <laughs> Alrighty. Give me some easy elder boss fights, please. Let's get this done. I actually don't know what this world seed is. It's a random seed because it's part of the hardcore. It needs to be random, right? So I'll have to check that out for you. Okay, we're ready for some honey. Some sugar. Let's check out this spawn location. Reasonably decent, but... Alright, so there's a great old spawner up there, which we don't want. Um, we want to fight him. We want to get him down this way. Down towards our portal and stuff. Alright guys, wish me luck. Elder fight's going to happen. I think. Yeah, let's do it. Grey Dwarfs heal the Elder. Yeah, but... They're, they're not going to be spawning and coming over here, I don't think. Actually, alright, okay. We'll, we'll go destroy this portal first. Oh, the, not the portal, you know what I mean. The thing. Oh, jeez. That's a shaman. There we go. It's dead. Alright, they're dead. They're dead. Now we're going to go fight him. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Hopefully this goes well. Um, do I want to be downhill with him when I'm fighting him? Probably not. We can go this way and fight him now. Alright guys, and Gaiettes. <laughs> Let's do an Elder Boss fight. Stopped raining as soon as he spawned. I don't know if that's coincidence, but okay. He actually got like a really good hit on us there, straight from the off, which is not ideal. Dude, really? All right, that's not helpful. Having great horse around here. I'm not getting the most luck with this fight overall from finding him till now. What? Why don't you have your shield out? You, I told you to have your shield out. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <sighs> All right. We good. We good. If I don't run into his attacks, we're good. Alright, what am I doing here? Alright, not getting the hits on him. I need to get closer. We're getting, we're getting a few hits on him. I'm so silent, I realise right now. Apologies for that. 
the concentration is really up there. Damn, I gotta stop missing so much, that would really help. Okay, some new recipes unlocked mid fight. Pro style, we've got time to do that mid fight. So, just using these pillars blocks his attacks, that's pretty much the game plan. Then, when he does that, we just need to get away from wherever he did that. And then attack him. going okay. I've completely lost chat, by the way, so I apologise for that. Just getting a little bit preoccupied here. It's really just about being smart with your stamina more than anything. So you've got the ability to, like, dodge when you need to and get out of there when you need to and stuff like that. So I just need to jog now and then get out of there. There we go. Get safe. Go again. And behind these pillars, he still can't get us. He's not too bad. He's already down to about half. Oh jeez, oh jeez, I got stuck there for a second. Oh, that could have been really bad. Alright, we got a little bit of a hit on us there, but that could have been so much worse. Okay, I don't know what... Oh, I don't know what he was aiming for there. He aimed like miles away from me. Let's get some stamina back here. He's definitely uh, nowhere near as bad as Bone Mass, that's for sure. Bone Mass was like the boss I struggled on the most, I think, so far. Okay. down to about of a third of his health now so far so good need to make sure I'm keeping at least one of those pillars in between us though let's uh, come over here here we go I've got a really itchy nose right now <laughs> there we go <laughs> I was trying to find a good time to itch that for ages so I was like come on it's hardcore mode you've got to take it seriously your nose can wait. It's really, you got like an itch and you just can't itch it. It's awful. It's torture, I say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not too bad. I feel cold. Would I really be thinking about that in the middle of fighting a giant tree boss? Like, hey, it's a little bit chilly around here. I don't think my health has gone below about 70 the entire time, so I'd say that's, that's reasonably successful. Okay, how many more hits do we reckon? Maybe four or five? Ezpez, guys. Absolute Ezpez. Um, <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all. I'll take that. That's a, that's a reasonably decent win right there. Um, certainly good to have the Elder ability as well. Obviously the Swamp Key and um, and the, um, what you call it, yeah, the Woodcutting buff. Very, very useful, both of them. We worked hard to get there, so uh, nice nice little win there to get him, him killed. I'll take that. And we've got a very large Black Forest biome here to explore. Plus, I think there was some mountains, wasn't there? Five mountains before. That was maybe a different one. Anyway, GG.
I would have gone. Good times. I'll uh, I'll have a bit of that. Thank you, thank you very much, chat. Um, uh, apologies for being so quiet during the the fight. It's uh, yeah, concentration was up there because like obviously it's it's not super difficult as you guys saw, but like at the same time it would suck to die. Um, you know, in this in this hardcore world. Yep, we're going we're going home straight away. We're gonna go home safely. Hopefully, at least, yeah, I'm gonna head straight there. Do do my best. Um, and have a little snooze. Have our um, elder ability ready for future use, and it'll be happy days. Okay, where are we at here? Uh, let's just go sleep, and then we'll worry about this stuff in the morning. And think about what we want to do next. Whew, alrighty, not bad, guys. Not bad. Next step, yeah, good question. Not sure what we want to do for the next step. I mean, ultimately, we're, we're going for bone mass, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, there's swamps, iron, potions, better food, that sort of stuff would all be useful. We could work on our base a little bit as well, which is going to be kind of useful as well. Get, like, a really good cooking set up and workshops and stuff for the future. So the, uh, a bit of that, probably, as well. Uh, Alright, you can go in there. Straight to swamp. Yeah, just, just give you bone mass right now. <laughs> then I would die. Bone mass is tough. All the bosses feel so much easier the second time around, though. Uh, oh, we need to go to spawn. That's where we need to go. And let's just protect our swamp key. Uh, wait. Uh, this chest on the end here. Valuables. Make sure that's nice and safe, because uh, although if I die, I die, so actually it doesn't matter, but still. Alright, so let's go put that at the spawn. Where is the spawn, actually, compared to here? Oh, it's a bit of a journey. It's up there. Um, we get to have a portal between the two, actually. We are one certain core short. I'm going to go and try and get another certain core. Uh, actually, no. I need another three certain cores, and I'll have four in total. Oh my god. My computer was just telling me it needs to restart. Uh, hold on, I hit wait an hour. Um, thank you for the, the bits, uh, Kakoma. I really appreciate that. Um, I just need to make sure my computer's not about to re re restart. Uh, pause updates for seven days, no. Your device will restart at 0046, that's an hour. Um, can I change that? How do I change that? Uh, what if I don't want it to up, up, re like restart in an hour? Um, advanced options. Pause updates. No, I just, I just don't want it to restart in an hour, like, manually. Can I choose to that, not do that? Um, would it ask me again in an hour or would it just do it? Like, it might restart during, like, while I'm streaming. Could someone, does, does anybody know that? Um, so make sure you save your work for the restart. It's like it's just, like, forcing me to restart. That's really annoying. Because I might not want to end the stream in an hour. I might still be good to keep going. Hmm. Uh, I would sit down one at spawn and just rename it. Ah, true. Yeah, so we don't need one certain core then. So if I can find... Is this, this is a troll cave, isn't it? Do a tree farm near spawn. Actually, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could look to, to work on that. Um, well, let's see if we can find the certain cores for now. If anyone knows how I can prevent the restart, it looks like it's going to force me to restart in an hour. Which is really rubbish. I mean, I could always come back, but it's like, not ideal. Like, you always, you know, lose a few viewers, and I don't know how long the restart's going to take, and that sort of stuff. Probably snooze for seven days. It Just then, it was like, gave me two options. Restart now, or wait an hour. So I hit the wait an hour thing. But now it's saying it's going to restart in an hour, and if I haven't saved any work, uh, and you know, make sure I save any work before then. So I feel, I feel like it's just going to do it. Alright, that's planes up that way, so we're definitely going nowhere near that way. Hmm. Well, we've got the stream going for at least another hour, then I suppose. Um... But uh, if it has to restart at that point, I guess I'll, I'll leave it there. Maybe it's just uh, the universe's way of telling me it's time to go and get some sleep. 
Still planes coming up that way. Planes everywhere in this world. Crazy world. Is this uh, something? Is this Troll Cave? Why doesn't it tell you outside? Was that a Troll Cave, guys? I'm not sure. I feel like it was, but... Oh, we're back at our boat somehow. I've run in a big circle. I didn't mean to do this. Um... <laughs> That's Troll Cave. How do you guys know? Why do I not know this? You have you know things I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Um, well. Actually, do you know what? I kind of want to fight some draggers on the edge here. And get um, some sausages. If there's just some draggers just chilling here. Kind of useful. Hmm. Meh, never mind. We'll do a swamp later. Do like a full swamp stream or something. Yeah, it feels like it's insisting on a reboot or a restart or whatever. Like, yeah, so. Alright, so uh, maybe we're not actually going to find any barrel chambers in this one. Just being careful about where I go here because there's so many planes around as well. Which I do not want to be in. <laughs> we'll have a little look for a bit longer though. Maybe there's... Sometimes they blend in a bit. Okay, it's like... Grodor's fighting each other. Oh, there's a barrel chamber, isn't it? Oh, that's one of those... What is that? That is not looking good. Alright, let's... Um... Oh, it's a two-star Grodor, that's what it is. Okay, kill these dudes. This is this is good, right? We can go in here. Let's kill this dude first. That's a barrel one? Yeah, I thought so. Um, we should really be in here. Pick up all this stuff. Let's go get some certain cores. Hope we can get out of here. It's like a little bit blocked. Imagine that. Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> that would really suck. Because the only way out would be to die, and then my hardcore world would be over. Thought I heard something there. Okay. Um, let's take all this. Okay, get rid of these dudes. Get rid of you. Okay, a little door. We're going to be able to do some cool trades with Haldor. We're getting tons of stuff to sell to him and loads of coins as well. So that's pretty good. Alright, let's just pick up these mushrooms. I should be picking them up. Oh, wait. The one time I actually picked them up and I don't have room for them. Um, Alright, we'll just leave it. I'll come back for them another time or something, maybe. I mean, I haven't missed them that much in my normal world. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, I think we have room for this stuff. Um, Ragaraj, uh, I am going to be opening a public server soon. Um, well, I say public. I, 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 to start off with, it's going to be a Patreon server through my Patreon I'm going to do. And then I don't know, because like a public server at the moment, I don't think is a great idea. But there will be a Patreon server coming soon for anyone that wants to join. Uh, that so yeah just um, join my discord I'll be plugging it on there if you are uh, interested um, if you want to stay up to date with that you know what's happening but yeah that oh my goodness that that's where I'll post about that um, it's gonna be tough I really don't know what to set the patreon level at I think what I'm gonna do is make a new patreon level um, and do something like that for it because it's just like um, from an, just for like keeping things organized and stuff perspective it'd be good to just have its own little thing but I really don't know what level to make it at on Patreon because let's like say you can only have 10 people at a time so it's kind of a tricky one, alright there's loads of certain cores here 
So yeah, I don't know what uh, what to do about that. I'll have to, but I'll, I'll have to figure that out, I guess. Um. Oh, really? That was the same one. Okay. Yeah, you can only have ten on a server at one time at the moment. Um. So like, no room in inventory for all this stuff. All right, let's see. I can get more of you. I can get more of you. I'll have too many of you anyway. Let's pick up this stuff. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's one of the awful dudes, right? Is there a door back there? Come on. Come back, come back, come back. Blimey, it's like whacker out here. There we go, he's dead. That's why you need stag breaker. Indeed, yes, it would have been useful, but luckily I'm a pro. <laughs> a pro would have brought a stag breaker with him. Aha, uh -huh. good point. Same one, okay. Don't know if it maybe would do a different one. Um, let's read that. Just happened to buy to see that I've enjoyed your YouTube content. It's been very helpful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, and, and thanks for coming on over to Twitch as well. Um, it's good to have people coming across the different platforms and things. Oh, really else? <laughs> That's good. Uh, it's, it's, it's like one of the most rewarding things about like the whole um, YouTube thing. Because I've done tons of tutorials. And I get so many nice comments and things from people like that. To know that uh, I'm able to help them out and stuff. Uh, it's, it's a really... Like rewarding thing to do so um you know if you guys uh watch youtubers content and stuff your comments like they will be seen like more often than not unless the guys like just you know, huge or whatever um but uh, and they do mean a lot guys so uh, just just know that it, it really does mean a lot and yeah unfortunately i i can't respond to every comment i get on youtube um but i, I try to respond to you know a lot of them but i do normally at least read them so they are they are seen Uh, see ya, Biggie. Um, thanks for uh, stopping by. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, hello. Accidental parry for the win. Another Certling, brilliant. Getting some of these mushrooms now, at least. Valheim's an awesome game. Everybody, yeah, it's a pretty awesome game for sure. Professional, I don't think that word means what you think it means. What are you trying to say? What, wait, what did I say? <laughs> I forgot now. I don't know. Um, 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 did all this right? Didn't do this? Okay. Good job, I checked. And six cores. Pretty decent. Two pools and two spare. That, yeah, that'll do us. Let's let's to head home. Um, let's eat first, and let's activate that. Um, hello, teaspoon. You are typing in the right spot. Um, if you hope that I see your message, go do. Not going to have mushroom left in my storage. Love it, love it. You know, I should uh, always invite mushrooms to your parties. Because they're all fun guys. Yeah. Yeah. Think on that. <laughs> boom indeed. Boom from a boomer. Dad jokes be happening. Gotta think of some Valheim jokes. Uh, I live in Australia. I'm originally English though. Which is why I have such a beautiful voice. <laughs> That's why I have the English accent. Um, but I've been here for 11 years now, so, and I have Australian citizenship, I, so I have dual citizenship. I'm technically Australian and English, and can live in either country freely for the rest of my life, which is awesome. And if I ever have little people, they will have that same freedom, which is also awesome. Um, 
And uh, I also have two passports, an Australian and an English, and that makes me feel a little bit like James Bond, which I always wanted to be when I was growing up. Still kind of want to be a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I think like every English boy growing up, James Bond is like, you just want to be him, you know? Um, what am I doing? I'm, this is going the wrong way. This needs to go in here. Why about I do a bit of Haldorf fun, actually? Yeah, that could be good. Uh, yeah, you know what we should do is just rename our pools. Um, someone suggested that, and that, that's going to make more sense Like until we've got uh, a certain farm going. Do you think they'll make another Bond movie? Uh, well, they are, aren't they? There's one being made. It was going to come out, and then COVID and stuff. So I think they are making one. Uh, Ragaraj, thank you for the follow. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, oh, thistles as well, right? We're in here. And then... Oh, we missed the amber stuff as well. Loads of bones, which are... There we go. Finally got there. Bones and resin. That's coming with us. Good stuff. So we'll need to make a portal up. Um, so 20 fine and... Alright, so let's see. We need... Oh, we need 20 fine wood. So let's go get that first of all. It's made waiting for release. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. There was a whole controversy thing about there's going to be a female Bond, which isn't quite true, I don't think, because I looked into it. I certainly, like, hope it's not. I don't think it's a good move to have a female Bond. I have, what I'd like to stress, I have absolutely nothing against female um, lead characters or female spies or anything like that. Just don't do it as Bond. Like, write a new movie and you know that's a female spy and, and have her cast as the lead and stuff it just doesn't make sense like the story is about james bond which is a man and always has been like i don't know why they you know would go that way but i don't think they are i think it's um sort of different to that but we'll see i decided to go my irish side again irish passport since scotland has to use the uk ones oh so you're you're um you're scottish are you wiggly is that where you're from? You live in Scotland? I've never been to Scotland, but I'd like to go there. Apparently James Bond was originally written as propaganda for British Secret Service. Yeah, I, I can imagine uh, the Bond you know, portrayal being a lot more glamorous than what the real thing would be. <laughs> That's for sure. I uh, don't know if it was propaganda or not, but who knows? So much in life, I'm sure we'll never know. Oh, you live in Glasgow also. So high on my list of places I want to visit. I want to go see Nessie first, of course. I grew up fascinated by the Loch Ness Monster. Really did. I think as a kid I read about it in a book or had a story about it or something. And uh, yeah, I was fascinated. So I'd love to go to Loch Ness. But yeah, Glasgow would be great. Edinburgh would be good. I'm a huge Billy Connolly fan. And the way he talks about Glasgow, I'm like, I've got to go and see it. Um, so yeah, lots lots for me in Scotland. I've got to get there one day. Um, Kali Ray, thank you very much for following. Welcome along to the Twitch channel. Did you know Valheim is made in Unity game engine? I, I did not know this. I don't know much about that stuff. I um, yeah, I, I, I do the I do the content creation stuff. I know like you know about like the the coffee stain and what, what's it called? Iron Gate. That's it, right? And stuff like that. But like I don't know much about like the behind the scenes of how games are made or you know, the process or whatever. Nessie is a global icon indeed, yes. Uh, Lot Loman's a beautiful spot. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If I went to Scotland, I'd like to do a lot of that sort of um, stuff, like the hills and lakes and forests and stuff. Maybe do some camping. Um, probably, like, in, in, like, a caravanette where I could drive it around and, and do it that way. Um, oh, the eternal struggle, guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then, you know, just pull up and, and cover a good distance, that sort of thing. I'd like to do that one day. But, um... That it underscore has purchased one pack. Oh, somebody just purchased a pack. Let me see who that was. Oh, that edit again. Dude, you're all over the, uh, the stream notes tonight, hey? They're pretty fun. They let you ride Nessie. <laughs> I have a non-PG joke. I cannot say this joke. I'll have to leave it. The one weakness, everyone including you, is in Valheim. They can't hit down. I know. It's so true. I do struggle with it.
You gotta find her and ask her first. <laughs> Thank you, Whoosh, for following. Uh, we have 20 yet? Yeah, we got 38. Killing it. Oh, and we had some just lying there as well, did we? Or, yeah, I don't know. Other word, I guess. Hey, Buffalo! Hello, hello. Welcome back to another stream. Yeah, it's going well. We defeated the Elder. It was a pain getting there, and I thought I was going to die getting there, but uh, I didn't, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, all, all is good in, in Camp Kaizen here tonight. I hope all is good your end. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're sleeping. Um, I want to check this restart thing again. I'm sure, I think my computer's going to restart itself. So annoying. I think it is literally just going to restart in 42 minutes from now. Which, to be fair, will be like quarter to one in the morning for me. So I guess I could get a good... Let go and get some sleep. Um, so I need workbench. So I need cores and grade or fires. Uh, if you do exclamation mark loots, you'll see um, what it is there, Rag. But it's basically um, a way you can spend bits and you get stuff for it. You get, like, um, different cards that you can play. So you might see some come up on screen in a minute as uh, that edit did just buy some. Hey, Supremo. Uh, thanks for coming along to a stream. Um, if you do want to make more streams and that sort of thing, guys, I do have um, a stream schedule now, which if you go and click on it, It'll show it to you in your um, local time zone, wherever you are. And, uh, yeah, so the next one after tonight will be in another 48 hours, basically. So, for me, that is... Wait, where am I going here? Where's this... Uh, it's up there. Not far from Aether, So, Oh, the, oh yeah, I can set the map now. Um, yeah, so for me, it's Thursday night. For you guys, it could be Thursday morning or whatever. I don't know. Depends where you are. I was up pretty late yesterday. I was up till 2 a.m. streaming. It was such a good stream. When when they're going that well, I just I, I get so into them. I mean, I love doing it anyway. Um, and the game was going well, and I'm loving Ravenheim and all that sort of stuff. And so, um, yeah, that's that was good motivation to sort of stay, uh, to keep streaming. Just actually checking now on my latest Ravenheim video, seeing how that's doing. Not too shabby, not too bad. That was a fun one to make, actually, that recent Ravenheim video. Uh, my, my episode 2 on there, I enjoyed that one when I was making that today. i got some more Valheim shorts coming up as well. I'm going to start doing those, try and do those every now and again. Because um, they're reasonably easy to make and stuff, so there we go. Yeah, the next stream, uh, like 48 hours from... Well, the best thing to do is to go to my schedule. Um, oh, Supremo! Oh, sorry, Super Uno. I... I Read that too quickly. Super Uno, one. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, that was quick. You just got here. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Welcome welcome to Team Kaizen, right? And um, you can check out the Discord as well. You get perks on there if your Discord's connected up with your Twitch. Um, Rag, my next stream, yeah, if you check my schedule, it will give you it in your local time zone. So that's the easiest way to do it. But from when today's stream started, if you had 48 hours, that's when it will be if you want to do that. Um, Alright, some questions coming in, which I really appreciate, guys. Questions help me out. So always feel free to ask me stuff in stream, because it, it, it's it's a good thing, for sure. Uh, is streaming your full-time job, or do you have another job when you're not streaming? Um, streaming and and YouTube, um, mainly, you know, YouTube, uh, for, like, the like the income on YouTube that I get is much higher than on Twitch, although I'm trying to build that out and level it up a little bit. Um, thanks for the follow, Squonk. I love that name, Squonk. What a fun name to say. Um, so I do it full time, but I'm not yet at a stage where I'm earning like a full time income from it. Um, I made a decision um, about a year ago that I wanted to do this full time, right? Content creation, that sort of thing. And so I decided I would give it a year with the savings that I had and stuff to try it out and see if I could potentially get to a stage where I was earning the income to do it for, uh, for, um, for full time. And we're definitely heading in the right direction, that's for sure. And I'm getting a lot of support lately, so that's really, really great. And yeah, hopefully we can. I mean, it's I've got no regrets doing it because it was like going after essentially my dream. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I that I did it, and 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 so far it's worked out pretty well. So hopefully that'll that'll continue. 
Um, do you do your own editing? I do indeed, yes. I edit everything myself. Um, a mystical force... Oh, we can't... Oh, okay. It was because we were just a little bit too close. Why am I so laggy right now? What is this? This is really weird. I don't... Hopefully, uh, I'm not about to crash or anything. <laughs> just want a little area here. That'll do it. Um... Let's see, let's grab, let's make a bit of an area. Actually, wait, we probably can't make that yet, so let's just do this. So I want you, like, here-ish. This rock's in the way as well, annoyingly, so I have to sort that out. Um, yeah, so I don't mind doing my own editing. Oh, I should have renamed the portal before I went there, but I'll call this SP. That'll be what we use to get to and from spawn. Like some people say, you know, they really don't like doing the editing and it's annoying and stuff. I've got mine down to a pretty fine art right now, where it doesn't take me that long to do, really. Oh, it takes time, it does. Don't get me wrong, but not to the point where I'm like, I'm hating it and stuff. Oh, really? So that's too close? Well, that's, that's annoying. So I have to like do it like this, maybe. And then come around the back there. Just about going to be in the right place. We're pretty much as close as we can get to the, uh, <laughs> the spawn. Oh, okay. Do I have rocks on me? No. Dang. Let's go get some rocks and we'll need some more wood probably as well. Oh. Oh, right, yeah. Of course. Uh, Alright, so I'll just run back. That was silly of me. Alright, run back. Um, schedule info. Yes, it is. Thank you for that, Wiggly. Um, you guys found it? Alright, great. Yep, good stuff. Maybe I should actually um, have... I'll add a schedule panel. I'm going to write that down. Because that might be easier. Where's, where's my... My post-its have gone. Um. <laughs> Alright, that's... Oh, wait, is this... No. Okay, I'm, I'm so weirded out right now. I, I always have post-it notes on my desk and then they've disappeared. I'm so confused. What could I have done with them? What? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, Alright, anyway, I'll try and remember to do a panel. Someone will tell me, I'm sure. When you guys remember me. Um, one day you'll have a million subs on YouTube. Wow, that'll be that'll be awesome. Um, I, I can't tell you how excited I am at the prospect of potentially having 100k one day and getting that YouTube plaque and stuff. Oh my goodness, that would just be epic. That'd be so, so cool. I would love that. Um, and hey, it could, it could happen. Uh, in the next year, potentially. Who knows? Um, what else did I miss? Anything? Uh, I think, Pobob, you're asking what I use to edit, in which case the answer is Adobe Premiere. But if you're looking for a good free editing software, DaVinci Resolve, excuse me, DaVinci Resolve Pro, um, you can get free versions of it. It's It could be tricky to find, because I've told people about this before, and they're like, oh, you got to pay for it, but you don't. There is a free version you can get. It's very, very good, and it will like do everything you need to do trust me like you don't need to pay for adobe premiere i had my own reasons for wanting to get into paying for that and, and doing that but like you don't have to do it so that yeah that'll work good i used to use that for a long long time as well before i i switched to adobe about a year ago but yeah um let's get some more of this down us yeah I'll, I'll bring a pickaxe back and smash that rock indeed uh thank you rag thank you for coming along and uh Nice to have you here. I'll see you in the next one. And I think I'm caught up with chat. Oh, hydrate. <laughs> Alright. So we need a pickaxe. We need some more wood if we have it. If not, we we'll just have to go chop some down. So I'm a bit laggy here. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I'm... Yeah, I don't know what the cause of that could be. I never lag playing this game, so I don't know what's happening right now. My computer like, needs that restart in about half an hour, so I don't know if that's related or not. Oh, you're welcome, man. Like I say, feel free to just ask me anything. Like, I'm... Any stuff like that, I'm always happy to talk about and answer and... You know, if anything YouTube, Twitch related, editing, all that stuff. Um, more than more than happy to talk about that. Alright, here we go, there's the stuff, so we can... Get to SP now. Gotta remember that the Elder is the other one. 
we go. But yeah, it's weird. I um, you know, recently hit a four-year anniversary of uh, doing this. So, oh my god, I forgot to bring all the stuff. What an absolute! All right, so I need pickaxe and stones. Um, do you ever find yourself thinking of real life stuff in terms of video game stats and meters? I do actually a little bit. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Grappo. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I do. I do a bit. Um, did I make a bronze pick yet? Maybe I should try and make a bronze pick, if not. I don't think I can with that lot. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, and like, sometimes, like, if I start playing a new game, I'll then keep seeing things in the real world that are reminding me of that game. Um, like, different structures in the game, or whatever in the game. So, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean by that, actually. Almost there. Let's get rid of... We probably don't need quite so many stones. Let's put a few away. Oh. And then let's put them away again, but in the right place. There we go. But yeah, so I recently hit four years of doing YouTube. Um, in January this year was four years. And it was really weird thinking back and looking back at the journey and how I started out, like how little I knew at that point about YouTube. Um and how I just never would have thought at that point that I'd be in the position I'm in, you know, uh, today. It's It's been a really, like, really awesome journey. It's been a really, really, like, fun thing to have done. And, uh, yeah, it keeps, like, um, evolving over time as well. Like, with the whole Twitch thing, that's pretty new, for example, you know, and all the different stuff. And, like, doing Valheim content now as well, because before it was a lot, obviously the Minecraft stuff and that. But it's, yeah, it's just been an awesome journey. I've, I've really enjoyed this, the whole process of it. But it's so weird to look back now and think about how I started and the stuff I was doing then and then to be here now and, you know, live with, like, currently there's 81 people here and doing videos that get, like, thousands of views and stuff like that. Really just would not have thought, you know, when I started out that that was going to be a thing. But, uh, but, hey, it's been awesome. It's been great. And I'm looking forward to hitting that 50k milestone soon. So, uh, yeah, fun fun times. Alright, so we've got that, and uh, I suppose I will activate you. Actually, I wonder something. So my Ike for there had a minute and five. Oh no, it does It does know that, and still that carries over. I thought I might find a little hack there, but I guess not. I have that thing where I forgot why I went into my room, so I always think someone deleted my last action in The Sims. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Sims, great game. I used to play Sims for hours and hours on end when I was younger. Like when it first came out, I was you know I was I was young. Back in the good old days. All right, let's have a think then. Let's just like clean our storage up a bit here, uh, clean our inventory a bit, and then uh, see what we're gonna do at that point. Sims is a good time, yeah, indeed, yeah, very very good game. Such a fun game. It was, it was like ahead of its time as well when it first came out, I'd say. Which made it pretty awesome. You know what, let's, let's get these beehives doing, uh, actually. So... Oh, actually, Wiggly, I have a really random question for you, just because you're Scottish. Have you seen a TV show called Limmy's Show? Limmy's Show, I think it is. Yeah, have you ever seen that? Um, what is this? There we go. I'd be interested to know if you've seen that. Incredibly random show with a Scottish guy called Limmy as the lead. Um, Limmy is on Twitch. Why? Look at that. You guys you guys know about Limmy. I haven't actually seen his Twitch. Yes, the water one is so good. Yeah. Um, and I like the um, Didi. I like the character Didi. He makes me laugh so much because I know a lot of people in England who literally live like that, you know? Uh, it's so funny. Uh, I love the Parasite one. What's the Parasite one? Remind me. I've seen a lot of his stuff. I actually only found out about him recently uh, on YouTube and started watching it. And I was like, kept watching it. I was like, I don't know why this is so entertaining, but there's something about it. It's weird. Oh, the Psychic Talk Show. Yeah, that's quite funny. And um, oh, the one where he's like, hello, Traveller. What's, what's that one? Can't think of his name now. I am something and I will be your guide, you know? And he does that. They're, they're, it's so weird and random, but there's something about it that's really, like, 
Binji. <laughs> yeah. The bus to Yoka. That's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, DD's DD's great. DD's got my my favorite. Uh, he's got to be my favorite character on the show, for sure. Um, all right, guys, we are gonna need to do a lot of wood cutting. So, uh, yeah, there's no two ways about it. It's got to be done. I gotta do it on cam, but it's good for hangouts, right? We can chill. We can chat about stuff. Like Lemmy. Um. And, uh, and yeah, I'll do this. Because it's hardcore, so we've got to do it all on cam. So It's not like uh, everything's going to be super exciting, I guess. But hey, there we go. <laughs> Let me show, honestly. It's so, such a random thing. I can't find one deer, and it's slightly annoying. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I know the feeling when you just need to go out and get like a quick like deer hide or something. Yeah, I feel the pain. What is this here? I, I guess I already did this one, but... Uh, I do not have a wood farm, no, no. I already just destroyed the Elder, so I didn't want to worry about it until I defeated the Elder. And right now it's just going to be a case of like needing to get as much as we can. Actually, we should repair our axe first. Hey Phoenix, how you going, bud? Back to terrorize me. <sighs> there you go. I'm drinking on my own now. Just just your name is making me drink now. I've still never ever made a ball farm and I'm on day three thirty. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so that's all repaired, so now we can Use our ability and go. And thanks for streaming. I really enjoy hey, it's my pleasure. Um, I, I really do enjoy the streaming. You know, it's, it's it's so different to recording. It's such a different experience. Like, uh, for 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 me, like, it's, you know, you, all right, you're doing the same game, you're making content on and stuff, but it is a vastly different thing all around. I did. I beat the elder. He's gone. We got his abilities and stuff. We good. Bosh. I always found by the time I had a good boar farm set up. Oh. Tame the rune. I don't need the materials anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, don't die because of a tree. Uh, but I, I, I like to do them early. Early game, they're useful. Um, but then, yeah, late, later on, they're not as needed. I mean, if you do a lot of exploring and stuff, which I like to do early game, you can kill a lot of boar that way anyway. So then it's like, you know, the boar farm then isn't as needed, but... It just depends, I guess, the way that you're playing and what you're doing. Let's get out of here a second. A lot of trees crashing down right now. Okay. I get so frustrated by the lag from South Africa. Yeah, it must be annoying. I, I, I know how you feel, because, like, Australian internet's terrible. Like, I've got the best you can get over here and it's still not that great compared to like other places in the world so we just yeah have to deal with that actually I need to mark this so I know that this is where my um oh my cart is let's do let's give it one of those here we go the tree graveyard continues what speeds do you get um so I like right now I'll probably have a download of like 50 to 75 and an upload of like 35 if I'm lucky but often it's a lot like less than that like 20 or le less and that is I'm on 5g internet which is only the very center of Perth has it one of the reasons why I had to live in the city because I want to be streaming and stuff in in HD and it's pretty much the only place I can do it um, and and, uh, and yeah like literally I went into the you know the, the internet shop I was like, look, I, I, I need to get whatever the best speed I can get is. I need it kind of thing, you know. So, uh, yeah. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough in Australia with the internets. Oh, we're smashing down our thing. Doesn't really matter. Clear out tree stumps eventually. Because they can cause lag when they build up. Oh, really? Okay, if we start getting lag, I'll come through and clear them out. Honestly, I think that's something they could probably remove from the game. Like, why leave tree stumps? 
like you've chopped down the tree and then you kind of have to chop it down again to clear it entirely just like you know what, what does it do just get rid of them I don't know why they have them oh my god I need to put myself in a right trap at home is 200 down and 20 up so you got a really good download it's just the upload is not great for you Dre Killers, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. The delay is not good. Yeah, that would be annoying. Um, I'm, um what am I doing? Oh, I need to get to my car. So. Uh, we should probably sleep as well in a sec. We're right for a minute. We're in a safe area, so. Not too worried about it. Whew. So has anyone got anything exciting coming up this week? I'm going for a haircut. <laughs> that's, uh, that's super exciting. My hair is so long at the moment. Because I like it to be stay quite short, so I need to get it done a lot. But I don't like getting my hair cut, so I'm always like putting it off. Um, oh, uh, go, go speed 81 just for, uh, just subscribed, I should say. Thank you so much for that, go speed. I really appreciate that. Um, just got a, a, a first haircut in a year yesterday. Oh, my God. What, why did you wait so long? What was going on there? Is that because of lockdown or what? Um, thank you so much for um, subscribing, though. I really appreciate that. Welcome along to the, uh, the team, guys. And... Uh, 95 subscribers right now, I think it's saying there. That might be 96, though. Sometimes it takes a while to um, catch up. But either way, that's that's amazing. Thank you all so much for the support, guys. Um, might crack 100 subscribers soon. That'd be cool. That's uh, I've not done that before, I don't think. I mean, I have had some people that have donated mad amounts of subs to me all in one go and stuff. So maybe I have when they were doing that. But still, still cool. <laughs> Got to get one gig. Uh, could you just buy a razor, buzz it yourself? Hey, my my hair looks uh, professionally done. It's amazing, right? I, I can't I can't be messed around myself. I've got to get these proper people. <laughs> um, it just it doesn't cost a lot to get my hair done. It's it's just I don't know. It's the small talk and can't be bothered and stuff. <sighs> well, yeah. If you leave the stump, does it regrow? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it would just be a stump forever, which is really annoying. There's literally no good thing about stumps in the game. They just need to get rid of them. It's like when you get rid of a tree, the, tr the stump should just die. Don't know why it doesn't. Welcome, man. I'm enjoying the hardcore playthrough on YouTube. Uh, caught up as fast as I could. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for that. Um, glad, you, glad you're enjoying it. It's been an interesting challenge, for sure. It certainly changes the way you play the game. Um, it's really fun doing it live on Twitch and stuff as well, so that's pretty good. You hit 30 and went bold. <laughs> Fair enough. That's uh, that's not uncommon, right? So, but there was a grade off here, wasn't there? But where did he go? Am I seeing things? What the heck? Okay, weird. Almost at one fifth of the way to get in my name on the Ravenheim wall. There you go, El Toaster. Um, if you guys do redeem that one, um, might be best to wait until uh, I'm doing a Ravenheim stream, um, just so I, I can do it then and there. If you do redeem it in like a stream when I'm doing this or something else or whatever, obviously you are still you'll still get it, um, but you just might need to give me a nudge when I'm doing the the Ravenheim stream. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just just you know, just heads up. Whew. So, unfortunately, in about 20 minutes, my computer is forcing its restart upon me. There's nothing I can do to change this. So, I'll probably end the stream in about, like, 15. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably end the stream in about 15. Um, so I can end it properly and all that sort of stuff before it just, like, dies on me. It's pretty annoying, but I don't know. I'll probably be thankful tomorrow because I'll get a better night's sleep and stuff, I guess, as well. Um... So yeah, going to be just kind of finishing up here now, doing a little of uh, wood cutting and all that good stuff. But uh, thanks for another great stream, guys. Uh, again, tons of support and uh, always nice hanging out with you guys and stuff. So 
Yeah, in 15 minutes, that's right, you all go watch the YouTube video indeed. Ravenheim episode 2. It's a fun episode. It, there's, there's a few fun things in there. It's really nice because, like, tutorials are, are so, like, they've got to be straight to the point and just pure factual, you know, and just giving the information that's required for whatever the tutorial is and nothing else, right? But with, like, the Ravenheim stuff, it's more about trying to be entertaining and come up with fun, fun ideas and stuff like that. And I can, like, deviate more and have some fun and mess around a bit. So it's been really fun to do them. Such a contrast to the tutorials. So, uh, and there's a lot of messing around and fun things in, in this one I did today. The amount of water I chug at hockey made me regret what I did to you. <laughs> uh, you're all good. I could probably, I, I, like, in general, could definitely do with drinking more water. So maybe this is going to build a big, uh, a, you know, a good new habit for me. Could be could be a, a blessing in disguise, like a priest wearing a wig. Uh, okay, let's check that down there. Where's my cart? Should be around there. It is. Oh, another hydrate. I'm gonna go on a bike ride. Awesome, bike rides are great. Um, thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you have fun. Um, Jilly beer, <laughs> the name I can never say. Um, Jilly beer. I either way, thank you so much for uh, for subscribing. Uh, right at the end of the stream here. Uh, well, not right at the end. We're still like let's say 15 minutes or so. Um, oh, another hydrate. Um, but I really appreciate that beer. Thank you so so much, and, and welcome along to uh, to the team Kaizen, of course. Um, the Valheim strongman thing was great. Would be cool if you could do one comparing ship speeds going with the wind versus side wind. I was actually thinking um, about like in that video about like that but that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I've I've got a few ideas. I'm kind of I'm kind of toying with and working on. It's a little bit more difficult doing it in the ocean because the way the building is, even in cheat mode, you can't really build in the ocean. So marking out like a distance of, oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I can click wait an hour. Ah, I just delayed the restart by an hour. Oh, now do I stay or do I go? I might, I'll probably still go. I might stay a little longer than the 15, but I'll probably still go soonish. I thought it was going to force me to do it, but I've hit wait an hour, so that's awesome. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's just a little harder to do in the sea. So I've got to figure some things out with that. But I, yeah, there's definitely more things like that I could do, I would say, you know. Oh, we got a dad joke. Here we go. Let's get a dad joke done. Um, oh, i gotta, I got to always look at this. Yeah, see, I can't say that one. This this site's good, but they're not all PG. <laughs> uh, that, what the, that's... Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. What do you call a fake noodle? Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Alright, hang on. I've just lost, like, tons of chat. Let me come back in here. Alright, so pizza punts, this is the dad joke for you. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Jenny Beer, thank you so much uh, for your kind words. Um, Tiny Cat Switch, most, mostly YouTube. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, look, most people are mostly on YouTube. But we get, like, people coming over here from there and stuff as well. Um, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, sorry, the dad joke, I got lost. Um, so I, I got so confused there for a second. All right, I'll, after this, um, oh my god, some of these jokes are just, you think they're bad, I, I swear. Um, if you can see some of the ones I reject. Oh my god, this is just terrible. <laughs> Maybe this will be a good one. Oh my god. What did the hat say to the hat rack? You stay there. I'll go on ahead. Oh yeah. There we go. Think of the ones I must have rejected. Right? And that's what we've got now. Alright, I think I'm back in the chat room here. Um, missed those stuff there. As a professional dad, I approve. Oh, the noodle one. Yeah, what was that? Oh, uh, what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Oh my god. Aren't dad jokes meant to be... They're meant to be bad. When I say bad, I mean they're either not PG most of the time is why I reject them. Or they're just like... If it makes me cringe, you know, me, then I can, <laughs> I'm not going to put you guys through that. Right? Can't be doing that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but that'd be such a pain to film, and we have to do that. Yeah, so that was the um, the ocean stuff. Yeah, it's just figuring out a good way of doing it. Um, one thing they could definitely improve is like the cheat mode in Valheim, particularly from a content creator's point of view. Some of it's a bit restrictive. Um, I've had ideas for videos that I'd like to do that I can't do, and, and like that was a good example of one. So, a half man, half horse was standing on a banquet table. He was a centaur piece. I like that one. That's good. Very good. Um, if the eight-year-old giggles and thirteen-year-old rolls eyes, it was a good one. There you go. That's how you know. I like that. Do you hear the one about the grasshopper who walked into a bar, and the bartender said, "Oh, we've got a uh, a drink named after you," and he said, "Well, Alan." <laughs> Such a stupid one, but I like it. Oh dear. Oh, I just thought of a great joke, but I can't tell it. It's just not quite PG enough. Um. <laughs> right, you know what, Chicky Rocker? I know where this is going, and I ain't falling for it, right? That ain't happening. I know, I know, I know your devious plan here. Not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. You'd be laughing. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, okay. Wait, well, hang on. Don't kill me. Get some food in here. All right. Let's see. What other jokes have I got? I'm sure there'll be a few. That was a little bit close. Yeah, it was a little bit too close for comfort for that. <laughs> hey, almost being the word. All right. I'm. I'm good. Don't you worry. I'm fine. Yeah, dying to a tree would suck for sure. keep thinking of jokes that I can't say, which is annoying. Your Flintstones dad joke got an actual belly laugh out of me. That's good. Uh, I do love that one. I love the, the just the silly ones. The, those ones that always get me the most. Just the ones that are really silly. They're just like, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, and that's definitely one of them. The Flintstones one's good. I have quite a funny Flintstones chat up line as well, but again, it doesn't rank as PG. I have to make like a little PDF download for people. Once they've entered their age to prove they're 18 plus, they can download all the jokes that I'm not allowed to say. Uh, thank you for the follow, Chrome Mystic. Appreciate that. Welcome along to uh, the channel. Where am I going? What am I doing here? Um, I don't know why I was running home. Actually, I should just go repair my axe anyway, as it happens. Uh, this made a song about that, sure. What? What? I, I'm confused now. Doesn't take much, I know, but... Oh, well, they made a song about that joke, did they? I'll have to check that out. I bet it'd be quite funny. I know tons of like chat up lines. I never use them, like, but like, because like, who does? Like, who who just walks up to a guy in a bar and says a chat up line? Like, that's I don't know. I don't think that's a great strategy. <laughs> but um, but I just I, I don't know. I have this weird memory for jokes and chat up lines that are funny because they're kind of jokes as well, right? Um, so I just remember a lot of them. Uh, well, the song is just a rap song, but they use that as the chorus. Love it. I'll have to check it out sometime. Should probably make like a little path over to here for my car each time. Cheesy chat up lines are great indeed. But I, I, I'm tr I'm struggling to think of any that I can say in the stream, you know. <laughs> but yeah. I can see the fun in them. So I should have made a car entrance to this storage room. That might be something to add. But we can probably get away with it for now. There's a there's a bar for birds in my town. It's kind of a seedy place. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. Love it.
That's an original. Ah. Well, you, ma you made that one up yourself, did you? Let's see. Let's grab... Uh, we're going to need to start getting to the second story here. You know, the tallest building in Perth is actually a library. It's got over a thousand stories. But I'm dumb. Oh, yeah. Need to write some of them down. <laughs> uh, all right. With that in place, all that there, now is an excellent time to end the stream, I think, guys. Um, so I'm getting a bit sleepy. I think uh, I don't want. I don't want to like die due to tiredness in my hardcore world, and then it's all over because I was sleepy. Like um, it was a, like three and a half hour stream as well. So to be fair, it's not like it was like two hours or something. Um, but yeah. So, uh, again, thank you all so much. Um, support has just been really overwhelming recently, uh, and it's, it's really, really appreciated, so please know that. And it's been awesome doing the hardcore streams, and the Ravenheim's been very fun too. So thank you all for making that a lot of fun, because the live streams are a lot more fun with all of you here, obviously. And the interaction and stuff is, uh, has, has been great, it's what makes it. Um, so yeah, I would say there's, there is stuff coming up, like the giveaways, the Valheim servers that I'm doing. Um, and some other things like that. So if you're interested in that, do check out my Discord. There's links in all my YouTube videos and stuff like that uh, if you want to find any of that stuff. Uh, but for now, I just want to say, of course, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And good night, good afternoon, good morning. It's like, it's like the Truman Show in here. You guys seen that? Oh, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.